Hit it. Uh, baby girl, swing this mic over here. It's picking up everything over. <laughs> it is the all-new Roll Out Show. It is Wednesday morning. Well, kind of. Lit. Kind of. Anyway, it's kind of Wednesday. It's the all-new Roll Out Show right here at Morris Media Studios. It's your boy, Speed Doggy Dog, the funniest motherfucker you ever going to meet. All right. It's the POTUS. Nikki Pam. And in the building, joining us for the day. At Mr. Nate Jackson on Instagram, Vine, and Twitter, but none of that's important. It's Nate Jackson today. <laughs> okay, cool. I thought you was just like, your name is at. <laughs> Show you love for at. <laughs> Want to know where to find me off top? At. You still got the car with all the... You already know I'm wrapped. Yeah, I go to the airport. For those who don't know, he's a comedian. Anyway, I go to the airport and... Uh, did you turn me down? Yeah. Porters? Turn your microphones, uh, your headphones up. I will not. I want you to turn me up, mama. I'm all the way up. I'm on 11. It's only say 10. Uh, so Nate Jackson, you have a car that's wrapped with your picture and everything on it. Yeah, man. When I was an uh, undergrad um, at Florida Memorial College in Miami, we used to go to South Beach, and I seen Ace Hood with like four vans wrapped. Mm-hmm. And I told myself then, like, if I ever get enough bread, I'm uh-huh. wrapping my car. And, and how many how many gigs have you gotten from wrapping your car? Uh, so it's one of the things where it's like intangible. You don't you don't necessarily know. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? But we're talking about it now, so it works. Yeah, yeah. You go to the airport. I just happened to go to the airport one day, and I'm parking, and I see your car parked at the airport. And I'm like, hey, I know him. Yeah, I'm wrapped up. Yeah. And what they did a little thing. Is they it put a van or a car? No, it's a uh, Chevy Malibu. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a regular they, car. They act it up, man, because the people that wrapped it, they used to, they do fleets. So they used to do like US West or AT&T vans. Yeah. So when they had just one dude, they they, they went nuts for me. Like, they wrapped the windows. I didn't, I didn't have to pay for none of that. The windows, they put a, uh, a little plastic container on the... It's, they stuck it to the trunk, and it holds business cards, and it says take a card over it. So even when I'm not in the whip, people can what take What about when it rains? It stays dry. It's in a little case. Oh, shit. I didn't notice that. I showed it. I was like, what is it's- this? They pulled it off. I act like a little kid on cribs or something. <laughs> <laughs> the exhibit could have been telling me, this is your ride. <laughs> You've been what did they call? pimped. Uh, You've been yeah, pimped. Pimped they grab your ride. Shirt. You've been pimped. Yeah. <laughs> Pop my collar. Here's a buzz in the thing, but fuck it, we'll get to it later. Why? I don't know why it's a buzz, but I don't, I don't hear it. Probably because yeah, um, we do too. There it is. I fixed it. Oh, that's beautiful. Just the bullshit. Yes. Everything makes sense now. Now I see why you said to turn down the. Uh, yeah. This sounds phenomenal, Speedy. So Nate was on. <laughs> Nate was on the show with me, and uh, God damn, I hit the table. Yeah, there you go. Don't hit the table. Yeah. Uh, Nate was on. <laughs> Don't <laughs> shit. shit in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's on the show with me in uh, in uh, Oceanside. Yeah, that was fun. And it was off the chain, bro. That was fun, man. Yeah, that, was, that was a lot of fun. I, every time I do shows like that, and I wonder why we don't get this shit on the road, because we niggas a kill, <laughs> given opportunity. Man, listen, yeah. there's a lot of questions I got for why things ain't the way they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ain't, yeah. ain't nobody gonna put us out there, man. We gotta go. Yeah, That's okay. Right. You gotta do it for That's yourself. That's what it comes down to, man. You want to build I, it? I tried that. You gotta do it like Bernie Sanders, man. It gotta be grassroots. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all just Shout want to get to in a van and go. Yeah, I think we should just do it. We need a actually, sponsor. Actually, the George Lopez and them, they don't have book dates. Like, they just, they, he said it's infinite. Like, when, you know, they're just going to keep doing it until they stop. But that's. Well, that's every comic. George. Lopez. Wow. Nah, we all got wow. dates. Wow. <laughs> no, I probably, I probably got more shows than George. Uh, at the end of the day. <laughs> Nate, but all your shows add up to one show. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> me all, too. But I'm me saying too, the no, George, I, I'm not even going to take it, but if, quantity wise, I got hella more shows than George. He's chilling. <laughs> yeah. I'm working. I'm like six nights a week okay. <laughs> slanging these little two jokes. <laughs> Look, on your bike. I'm here. <laughs> right. We're going to bump on. No, we can do it, Speedy. Let's just go, man. Yeah, that's Let's all you got to do. I've already put together one national tour, man. You oh, remember you back when we did Foxhole? It was me, BT, Clayton, yeah. and Keisha Hunt. And we were trying to get the satellite mic and just be calling in. Yeah. It was cool. Where'd you guys go? Bro, we did 52 cities. We hit Damn. the road. Name two. Uh, nigga, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and... Like comedy clubs? Yeah, we did club shows, whatever. So, Every promoter was like, look, what y'all got? Give us your budget for three weeks, and you know what I'm saying? No shit. Yeah, I'm not bullshitting. It's we, we, it was going so good, we had to decide to stop. At one point, it was like, nigga, we'll never go home. Oh, okay. Our bills were getting paid. You feel me? So well, I need my bills paid because it's kind of bad right now. Eh? But our ends was me. and we got the kids we, working. When we left, we was like, we might starve. But halfway through, I was like, I'm, I'm paid up. <laughs> no, I would love to do it. We'll sit down and talk about it. It, it is Wednesday. Uh, we call it Weird Wednesday is what we call it. Pam, how's, how weird is it for you? Did you get some? Did you get some from yesterday? Why do you care, Speedy? I'm worried about you, baby girl. Don't be worried. I'm good. You're dickless and 
L.A. and that's hard to be dickless. You just like dickless, in, like sleepless in Seattle. Yeah. Nigga. You can't be dickless in L.A. Niggas slang a dick all day. Yeah, but you know I'm good. I'm very good. Thank you good? You. Like you got some dick, or you good? Like you good content without it? A little bit of both. Huh. Mm. <laughs> so you just go home, pull the cover up on you, and just go to sleep. I mm. pretty much. The hell, as fine as you are, ain't nobody knocking on that door. There is somebody knocking There's on the door. There's flag football, but he hasn't. Count. He's just busy. It's, oh, let me Visited get you caught up. I was like, flag football. Her boyfriend actually. plays flag football on, on football Sunday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, on football Sunday. Physically himself. Yeah. He so got, he's not sitting watching the game. He's no, like. He's got a team. Nigga, you cool my flag. Now, he's not he's not a receiver. <laughs> okay. Not a running back. Quarterback. Not the quarterback. Okay. He's a lineman. He's a lineman. Hmm. He blocks. That's the, How that, Speedy paid that up? He don't. That's the only person getting contact. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all active? Is that the problem? Yeah, we're 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 good. Yeah. Are y'all fucking? Yes, we are, but we haven't it's in a minute. Talk. But they, they I think we just over yesterday, so you know we're good. He was have over guys... yesterday. Uh huh. We didn't and... have sex. We you didn't we pull just, his dick out. We ate <laughs> each other. You didn't pull his dick out. No. <laughs> you ain't had no dick, and you just didn't give me that. I need that. No. Have y'all fucked since Sunday? No. No. So this nigga been they physical done it with in, other men in a couple more than months. You? <laughs> this nigga literally been locked up with other men. <laughs> with other men. <laughs> Come back to you talking about let's just look at each other and let's just Netflix let's and chill. Eat. I'm like, it's hot in here. <laughs> look, you warming up. You got me off. Hey, man. Look, what, when last time you had something, uh, bro? Uh, shit, when did I just Niggas not uh, down. How do you ask a guy that? He the homie. That's I don't how give a homie. shit. Tell you I didn't fuck him. Out. Shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but you got to say it the right way. Hey, nigga, when last time you knocked the bitch down? Yeah, right. When you take some of these hoes down? Um, <laughs> Why? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. Uh, less than it was less than two weeks ago. Oh, okay. What, you know, is it a constant or was it a toss up? Oh, none of my pussy's constant. I work too hard. Oh, okay. So you can't. Be I'm, no I told you six nights a week. When am I getting some pussy? Where? So it's one of them nights in the comedy club where they go, he was funny, really? Nigga, <laughs> after the old door open, I'm standing, she's in the car looking like she's looking for something, sex. That bullshit. Oh, she played it off? <laughs> like, I can't find I, my just phone. Find my, yeah, plap, 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 plap. Yeah. <laughs> in the rap vehicle? Nigga, comics know hell. No, nigga, I don't ever. You don't fucking <laughs> rap? Not in the rap, nigga. <laughs> yeah, no. People are like, nigga, I see you fucking a bitch with your face like seven times. Nah. But it's, the windows are tinted with the rap. Nah. The windows ain't tinted. You can see me in that bitch. Oh, okay. I thought it was tinted. Okay. No, nah, man. I can't cheat or nothing in that. I just call side bitches yeah. like, open your garage. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> yeah, you can't park Slide right in. Why your car over at Charlene's house? Exactly. Yeah, Hilarious. With that shit. Well, he just said you find in the motherfucker, maybe. Yeah, because I'm not going to play flag football. <laughs> <laughs> going straight for guts. No, seriously, Pam. Why, do you, <laughs> why, why haven't you guys been active? Uh, Just... He was there last night. Does he listen to the show? Yes, he does. Nigga, get your shit together and come fuck this beautiful black woman right. <laughs> Before, oh, mm. one of the homies beat it up. Yeah, before you be getting after. <laughs> She's beautiful. She after got pretty man. teeth. Oh, thank you. Big ass clean pink tongue, too. You <laughs> straight, you be, <laughs> she be brushing her tongue, nigga. That's what I like. <laughs> he said I be brushing Yeah. I said a big ass... <laughs> Clean pink toe. Yeah, she been scraping that motherfucker. She got that shit off the. Uh, yeah, you gotta take the back of your toothbrush. Gotta have a little bristle. Yeah, she got something. She's using a spoon or something. I have an electronic toothbrush. Is that know? what it is? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, your head don't She likes some vibrating like in her mouth. Yeah. <laughs> she likes yeah. shit moving around in her mouth. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hilarious. Yeah, hit the back tonsils. That's so what you gotta go for. Is, has he at least initiated? Yeah, have you got a kiss? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they uh -huh. kiss all the time. They do all that. You or can tell they do all of that or shit. Whatever. We just ate yesterday. Hold hands. This is be holding hands. She getting affection. She's not yeah. getting dick. <laughs> I'll be getting dick this weekend. I'm good. Shit. This Why don't you just get little pieces? Just get little D today, little I tomorrow. <laughs> Let's see, little K. You got some dick throughout the week. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I have to put this in there. <laughs> so the last time she got it, he hit it with the four hour session, but he had never he did that before. Oh, and we all went, oh, blue pill. Nah. Oh, you think it, it took a Viagra? That's what he said. He's only done a four-hour session one time. What the fuck is a four-hour session? Be, you know, be descriptive. It's, 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 you know, long, and then you you stop a little bit, and then you go back at it, mm -hmm. and you go back at it, you know, that type of thing. But how many nut how many nut busts? <laughs> for me, it was 2.5. For him? For him, I think What's it was What's the point two. five? 
like, like almost there, one, but like, it didn't like get. A little one. He got up. Oh, you got one. Come on, where you going? Right. Yeah, that type. Was it one of those like if you would have just like three more strokes, nigga? Shit. Exactly. First of all, your pussy's broken. Okay, four hours should have been hella more nuts than two and a half. <laughs> Shit. You got to use it. It's a muscle, baby. The more you use it, the more it starts re reacting to what's happening to it. Mm. Just rub it right now while we on this. <laughs> Just warm up the oven. I can't believe yeah. it. Uh, Preheat your pussy. Yeah. Go ahead pussy is a magnificent thing. Why would you sit on it and let it just dry up? It might not be dry. It's probably ridiculous, but. Hilarious. It's probably juicy. The nerve endings is like, nigga, are we even nerve endings anymore? <laughs> He's here. Fuck Four him. hours? I was toe up. I ain't gonna lie. Four hours? I was like, Lord, I hope he don't want none the next day. Yeah, he know. ain't had nothing since. You needed a week to heal. Exactly. He was all swollen and shit, sitting on packs of peas. <laughs> packs of peas. He had frozen food and shit. <laughs> Hand me the packs of peas out of there. I got to sit on this because I just got damn. He didn't all you got off. left is a cucumber in your free. Bring that. <laughs> Bring whatever you got. Bring you showing people your pussy. Is it damaged? Shit. <laughs> I ain't going to the doctor. They charge. But just look at this side of it. Pam, are you blushing? <laughs> He's cracking Hell me yeah. up. Shit. Sit up, sweetie. Hey, you always try to pick me up. You do live around the corner from each other. Yeah, we do, actually. Pam, does yeah. your shirt have shoulder pads? I know it looks. No, it doesn't. Uh, God damn. She got on her, she got I on, it did. She got on her boyfriend's <laughs> flag outfit. Exactly. That's his black like, football outfit. It's way Lewis. This is big. Sit up here next to Dwight Howard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to dance. I don't know how to shoulder lean. No. <laughs> shoulder lean. <laughs> Yo, girl, why you. I used to date this girl who was really tall. Uh -huh. We went to the gym one time. And they was like, who you got? Her, nigga, shit. Who else are you little niggas? And she was like six feet, but she was tall. <laughs> we're picking teams? Yeah. That's funny, But nigga. she can actually play. Like, who you got? Uh, let put, me get Big Bird. Let me get Big <laughs> Bitch, get in the paint. <laughs> Leave your nails alone. Get in the paint. <laughs> That's funny. But, uh, Pam, I hope you get some. I'm just... I am. I'm gonna be good this weekend. Trust. So y'all work. Y'all said you talked about it like yo, it's gonna happen mm -hmm. this weekend. Yeah. He it's, said it's gonna happen. We both did. Yeah. Do you feel like you are gonna be good uh, this weekend, regardless? I don't want that kind regardless. of pussy. He like this. The last weekend, I'm gonna go like this. So whether absolutely. it's you or the next nigga, yeah, I, I don't absolutely. want that kind of pussy. Where, where we plan it. It's something you have to I need, sometimes. I need, uh, I need to plan it, and I want unplanned pussy. I want somebody to just, just grab my dick while I'm walking through the limb room. That's the shit. What? Yeah, that's a surprise. You got my midriff on, so you just... Oh, Lord. That's why I wear the midriff, so you can go on. The fuck is a midriff? <laughs> <laughs> yes, waist, I got a little waistline. I got, like, nine waistline <laughs> shirts that come right to the waist. Okay. It just don't it don't hide nothing. You don't have no pants on in the crib? No. Nah. So you just poo bearing? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Is that right? what it's called? Pretty much. <laughs> you ain't got no bottoms on? <laughs> Pooh bear. You don't have no bottoms That's on? That's right, Pooh bear. It's naked in the motherfucker, ain't oh it? Well, this nigga can talk, talk to people through the window with your dick out and I they can't see. Think about that, Pooh bear is naked in the motherfucker. So it is. No shit. That's it's, what you so be that's doing? It. Yeah, when I'm at the house, nigga. It's just me and Not, the wifey. Oh, okay. I was that, that, no, that, Jonathan running. Around. No, I can't. Have the kids running around. Are y'all with that? Like ladies, like that random ass, just that grab your pussy type shit. I kept trying um, to if, yeah, if it's my man, nah, I wouldn't mind. See, she liked the poop bear look. What if it wasn't your man? What if it was what somebody you was just interested in? I could get, uh, somebody I'm interested in. Like you're like depends he could how interested. It. Like he came over for dinner, and he immediately took his pants off. That has happened to me. <laughs> and what happened? Did you no, I looked up and he nigga? was completely naked. And did you, you join him? Uh, no. So you was that bullshit, dude? Did you? Oh, that nigga it was our first out. date. Hilarious. Oh, it did. did. I showed you his birthmarks so and you didn't give him no pussy. <laughs> 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 his beginning, nigga. Poet, what did you say? We. So he get naked. You go. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, pretty, I know she did. Oh, Cause I'm gonna put my quiet. shit back on. I'd have just grabbed my shit and got in the car, butt ass naked, and went home. <laughs> Nigga, I'd have been like, so, because you know, he probably, I was at his house. I'm just saying though, you he was probably like, I'm gonna pull these motherfuckers off. She gonna see this shit and give me that. Blue. Yeah, he take all his shit. That out. You went no. That's why you gotta <laughs> take her small? clothes off before you take it, yours off. Was Ellis. he small? Is that what it was? No. Well, what happened? It just I just met him. The fuck. Are all y'all stingy? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you just met them? Because it was two. It's him and the dick. And... Right. I don't we know your dick that way. We ended up, we're still friends to this day. But I ended up giving him some. But I made him wait because I felt like he was too arrogant. 
the fuck? He got to humble himself to get, to get some pussy? Uh, Youngster's trying to get <laughs> you pounds. Yeah, you trying, trying to get, get that. That's some bullshit. You ain't got to humble a nigga just to get... Yeah. I hope he fucked you terribly, too. <laughs> I hope he came really fast. Let me tell you something, ladies. All of this having sex on your time gives you the worst dick ever. If yeah. a nigga grab you, let that nigga fuck with all the beast that's raging through his veins. <laughs> let that nigga get that strong ass, I've been waiting on this pussy nut. Don't wait until he's like, am I going to get this pussy nut? Like, it's not the same. Hilarious. You want a nigga ferocious in your ass. <laughs> it wouldn't have been four hours if you didn't make that nigga wait so long. Yeah. That's what he, four hours, like, I'm not going to do that ever. That nigga come like, well, no, he's not trying to take his blue pill. He, Shut up, sweetie. Trust I'm me. honestly impressed. The nigga fucked for four hours and only busted. How many times did you say three? Probably two. This nigga busted every two hours? It, he just would not... Like, was it Lexington Steel, nigga? Like, why is this nigga fucking? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Dicks it don't really work was. like that. How many condoms did this nigga have on? Oh. Mm. Shit. <laughs> uh, they're cumulus. Nigga, who's going raw for two hours? This nigga. <laughs> Shoulders. Shit. Shoulders. <laughs> Shoulders. <laughs> That's a lot of str- friction, nigga. Two, that's 120 that, minutes. That means you got that tube shit in your hand. Look, hold on, bitch. Nigga, you can yeah, fly from that. L.A. to Seattle in two hours. Are you telling me this nigga only busted once? <laughs> in flight, fucking nigga. Nigga. <laughs> but y'all got to re-up, though, once you do yeah, the you first one, right? Yeah, you got to do some right? lube. And, you no, know. you got to rest. Yeah, like, yeah, you gotta rest. Not I didn't want to ask you, like, what's that lube involved? But oh, that, my mind was already there going, And that was on my me. behalf. I had to. When, did you stop and like, hold on, god damn. Yeah, let's get some more lube. Yeah, well, here, here's the sign. If you smell like burning rubbers, <laughs> you need some lube. If you see smoke. Yeah. Or you sm- if it smell like the inside of a balloon. If a nigga walk out and go, you fat your smog check. <laughs> <laughs> you tear that pussy up. Man, we just trying to make sure, you know. But there's other dudes out there that like you. A couple dudes hit me oh, like, yo, oh, nigga nobody me. Nobody likes me. Oh. Me now. Oh, okay, Nate. Yeah, hey, rub me. <laughs> oh, I can't shit. see this, but I just got my shoulder rub. <laughs> shoulder like rub. See. I rub hers too, but I need bigger hands. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> she not bullshit today. She got shoulders. She got on them 80s uh, <laughs> shoulder pads. Yeah, yeah. She got, her shoulders got ass. <laughs> yeah, the Queen Latifah shoulders. Big booty shoulders. <laughs> it is the all new rollout show right here. Nate Jackson killing this shit. Uh, yes, he is. So Nate gonna get some. No, that's what you keep saying, Speedy. <sighs> Nate, pull your dick you out when you get there. <laughs> For the homie, pull it out. Just, well, she don't I know. think we just gotta get out more, Pam. Exactly. My dick been out. So, <laughs> all you gotta do is reach over here, okay? <laughs> you thought I brought a microphone, that's all that. <laughs> Why you got jelly? Where'd the jelly go? This Where nigga they? got the jelly. <laughs> nigga, where's the egg? <laughs> oh, man, they didn't put no egg on yours, huh? You got a McMuffin? Which one did you get? The egg McMuffin and hopefully the OG. Mm. We're uh, gonna have to I, get to the bottom I think of I intern ate the egg. No, we're gonna get to the bottom. <laughs> this shit. We're gonna figure this out. Anyway. So we just hoping that Pam gets him. Fellas, if you're out there, you're single, you got a job, you're a nice guy, oh, older Lord. guy. We want an older guy because the douche you date now is 23. Listen, That's guys, not true. none of the shit Speedy just said matters. Hilarious. <laughs> We're not looking for no goddamn boyfriend. We're not looking for no commitment. Yeah, just somebody come back. We're looking for somebody who can come through, hit, appreciate her. Yeah. Physically, emotionally, spiritually. And the shoulders. And then leave. <laughs> yeah. And it'd be cool if you knew how to rub a shoulder or two. Right. <laughs> He was a masseuse or some shit in junior college. That's going to pay off. And then hit and leave, right? Huh? Hit and leave. Get your ass out of She got shit to do. Yeah. We don't okay, cool. To... Hit and leave. And you got to like it from the back. Because with shoulders like this, nigga, you need something to hold on to. She got you. <laughs> She's like a goddamn Harley Davidson. Hilarious. <laughs> this jacket is not doing you justice. These shoulders are big. Why it's so big? Take, take the jacket off. I don't know. You look like Marshawn Lynch. Please take the jacket off. <laughs> <laughs> Sit up here next to Beast Mode. You already know why I'm yeah, here. It looks better now. Yeah, that motherfucker kills me with that shit. You see them niggas told her the car? He told his car? Bruh, him and Fred Jackson, the running back they just got from the Buffalo Bills, got out of practice and was drag racing right outside the practice facility. That's so stupid. Fred Jackson ran over this big ass pot thing and hit a stop sign and like fucked the whole front of his like Ferrari up. Yeah, you got money. Like, Fuck, I'm like, nigga, we two and four. You ain't got time. If you want to race, nigga, do it on the field. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> These things is joyful. I need them to sad and dedicated. <laughs> to the team. We lost three games in overtime. Like, nigga, if y'all don't stop racing. That's part of the problem. It's the all-new Roll Out Show. Uh, and um, want to shout out. Um, yeah, what are you doing over there? 
Mind your business. <laughs> um, Want to shout out Kente and RT. They had better shit to do today. <laughs> so. Apparently. That's mine. <laughs> Are you going to take my egg? <laughs> Y'all just going to endorse me. Like that in my fucking time. Thank you. Well, that's the new dude. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, new dude don't know. He don't know the rules. Man, fuck Kente Scott and R.T. Stackle. <laughs> 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 With a big, long-ass dry dick. Oh, God. Oh, oh shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. No, those, are my, those are my dudes. But shit, listen, when it comes down to Egg McMuffin or them two niggas, I'm going to be focused on the muffin. <laughs> <laughs> big nigga yeah, muffin. it don't look like you missed the muffin. No, I didn't, but I'm dropping weight. Uh, uh, but this is going to happen. Are you losing weight? I found it. It's right. He got a nice little bracelet. Hilarious. He got a nice little bracelet on. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to. It's a, little, it's a little girly though. It's a little. Nah, man, they got the big ass balls for the girls. They told me this was for the men's. They lied oh. to you. Well, nigga, <laughs> they're like my daughter wore that. Let me just, tell you something. Took it from her playpen. This shit. Hoes be magpies, nigga. All I gotta do is be like, yeah, so then I, uh, nigga, you seen the shining in Oceanside? I didn't see it. This first nigga, one. Nigga, this shit hit the stage lights, and people like, this nigga got money. <laughs> <laughs> like, Maybe we should listen. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you need him to cut your glass open, he just. <laughs> Hilarious. Y'all wanna break into a bank? <laughs> I'm drawing circles on the wall. <laughs> Punch the dude. Uh, so, if you wasn't doing stand up, Nick, what would you be doing? I'd be promoting. Oh, really? Book club? Mm hmm. That's what, what I'd be doing. But but originally from Seattle, yeah, originally from Seattle. I thought you went to UW. I don't know why. I th- I no nah, man, I went to Florida Memorial College, Washington State University, and Eastern Washington University. A Q, right? I'm a Q across the Washington State University. Oh, the you're zoo, a Q. Chi Alpha Alpha. Oh, I, my boo is a Q. Quit trying to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, boo is a Q. The flag football nigga. Why are you yes. calling Who boo? Is he? <laughs> What's huh? his name? Who? She I'm won't tell us. I'm not saying no names, now. We ain't seen no, a picture. Just tell me. We'll lean back from A lot of people think this person does not yeah. exist. We no, haven't seen a picture. What's the football player that had the fake, the imaginary uh, oh, uh, girlfriend? Place for uh, San Diego. Oh, uh. Mateo. Mateo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Manti right. Teo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we think that's you. He got catfish. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, if he's a Q, <laughs> I'll know the nigga, and then we can validate whether or not he exists. <laughs> <laughs> And I can tell you why you're not getting more dick or something. I can get to the bottom of this. Maybe shit he for just you. became a Q. Maybe he's a Q U. <laughs> Hilarious. Maybe he's a BBQ. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. That's funny, and Maybe I don't even know why. He's a small letter Q. Maybe he's a small letter. He's a lowercase Q. Okay. Lowercase. Maybe that's what he is. Oh my God. How long has he been a Q? I mean, uh, where did he pledge? Um, I think uh, one of them schools he went to. I don't know. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Dot, oh, wow. Shout out to I don't know him. Look here, <laughs> he be fucking. <laughs> I know he did. I don't know which school. I keep though. forgetting every He's time. He's listening. Every time we he ask just you. asked me, was it Nate? On, was that Nate? I said, yeah. Oh, he knows you. He knows Nate. you. Where did he ask you that at? He just texted me. Let me see the I text. Right here. I'll be. I'll be private. Uh, well, you know. Listen, her 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 login code is um. Uh, hold on. Was it you have the, nigga, his name is saved as bruh. Is that as, Nate? Oh, as yes, Bay. He's a bruh too. But I don't know, um, bruh. <laughs> he know. doesn't know any flag football players. No, I was looking for a name to be like, ah, oh, but she literally has this nigga saved as Bay. So all the text messages <laughs> are coming from Bay. Because I know speaking, I know speaking, I have my dudes in code name. Hell yeah. Like what? Get uh, naked one before. Is, <laughs> one's name is uh, Naffy Brown. Nigga. Why, 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 why that? Is shit nappy around it? <laughs> you got the taco meat around his dick. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, it has to be that. You save him as a It's only... not that. Um, and then chocolate chip. This sounds oh. like you naming these niggas <laughs> after their dicks. Hey, I want hey, to go back chip to nappy dick. Yeah, <laughs> little chip dick. This nigga had a nappy ass brown dick. <laughs> hey, nap. Right. Hey, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, dishes. Oh, well, we know what dishes is. I don't. Know. This nigga that washes your dishes? No, no, she wouldn't wash it. <laughs> that's, a nigga, that's a nigga with the real pipe. Yeah. <laughs> I wash all that nigga's dishes. Right. I wash a cup with m- lipstick on that motherfucker, too. <laughs> yeah, if they wash your dishes, they like you. That's yeah. funny. They, yeah. Women don't just come in your kitchen yeah. to wash. It's mm. like Larry's. washing your clothes. They don't yeah. do that. He get love. Yeah, but Pam, she takes care of She pays dudes rent. You know, so it's I don't. <laughs> he, he, like he got new rims on his... Uh, if he's an Omega man, I'm for all of that now. <laughs> do what you got to do, brother, to get your life right and uplift each other's relationship. Okay? Get her a shoulder rejection. How long have you been, uh, How long have you... When did you cross? Or how do you uh, spring 03. 03? Yep. And what, what made you do up. that? Oh, uh, man, I had some I had some major influences in my life at a young age of, like, grown-ass Omega men. Mm-hmm. And so when it was time for me to go to college, it was 
unequivocal. I was like, I'm gonna be a kid. My daughter uh, is pledging. She just uh, starts. She's gonna be a AK. Pretty sure you shouldn't say that. You fuck around, get her whooped. Just let her become an AKA. Yeah, then announce it. To, no, they she, have all these rules. Is she AKA now? Or she online. Speedy don't know nothing about What's that school? life. I will not. Exactly. So there you go. Speedy. In trouble, motherfucker. <laughs> he didn't do announced it. it on the show a hundred times. But I won't right. do it a hundred one cool. time. Apparently. Well, now you know. <laughs> just once she becomes an AKA, you just you. That's when you shower her with pink and green gifts and love, and because she's gonna join a whole new world that you may not know a lot, a lot about. I do. Well, then there you go. Yeah. I don't Thank. think you do. I do. I was gonna join. Mm. But what was you finna be? What you gonna be? Uh, uh, I, I wanted to be. A, I wanted to be. A, when uh, did you attend college? Hilarious. I, <laughs> with disrespect. I went to tra- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah. No. You wanted to join, nigga. They don't have those at community college, sweetie. Well, yeah. this is back when everybody was joining here in LA, it was like a little fad. LA's a fad. We we go through shit. And next thing you know, everybody want to do it. Then ah. It and at that time, everybody was trying to be, and, and mostly it was cute because it was, uh, not cute, it was uh, Sigmas. Oh, really? The Sigma house on uh, Crenshaw. So a grad chapter? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, no, no. I, this, I was in college at the time. Where at? Uh, Trade Tech. Speedy. Okay. Really? I went to Trade Tech, motherfucker. Don't stare at me with all the forehead. Do you have your diploma? That's not what he asked me. <laughs> <laughs> Is this, and didn't you take the money for some sh- tennis shoes or something and go shopping? Yeah, that's the, the right. Number? Speedy took his financial aid, aid and went and bought some sneakers. Okay, so did back, everybody else. What are you supposed to do? You get your scholarly then, check and you wild out. Yeah, back then, they, they called me to the office and said, here's your check to go get your books and stuff. And I said, a check? And they gave me 2900 At the time, I was 23. You can't get no 23-year-old. What was you supposed to do with the money? I went straight. Well, now they don't do that. They just send it to... Uh, Student to the student store, okay, and but then you, you still use it get credit. credit though. Yeah, but 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 this they was for the difference. Books. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cause nigga, Flomo. Oh, these niggas was driving by Chevys and shit with their scholarly <laughs> check. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, they had a FBI investigation at our school. Niggas was getting the scholarly check, going to the registrar and buying grades. Hale- what? Oh my god, <laughs> nigga, for like twelve years, some registrar, a hundred dollars for for a grade, like a, a B C D, a A was a hundred, a B was like eighty. Like they had a pay scale. Let me make sure I got this right. You didn't want me to say shit about my daughter might be in something, but you just told on everybody. <laughs> nigga, they already went to jail. I would ask you. No, no, listen. You just told on everybody. The fans to already came in and so did what all, they needed to so do. So it's already done. It's already done. Okay, cool. Nigga, it was so bad. They was like, if you only change 10 grades, we're not worried about you. I was like, nigga, <laughs> here I am in class devoted to my little education. Did I'm you graduate? Like, yeah. I graduated from Eastern Washington University. Oh, okay. You came back home. Yeah. It was too crazy, nigga. Nobody was in school for like they were buying grades and smoking all goddamn. Like you should have seen this. Shit. Speedy, it was outrageous, nigga. It was niggas literally freestyling in the parking lot for eight hours. Damn. And then saying I went to school. Yeah, and you having straight A's, nigga. They got caught because the valedictorian got passed. And he wasn't really one. Oh, a nigga passed the valedictorian who had earned her straight A's had like a three point nine five. A nigga had bought a four point oh. And so that's like, how they got uh, caught. It didn't measure up. Yeah, they were like, how the fuck you pass? Like, you know who the valedictorian is, nigga. Sophomore year. Like, ain't nobody catching this bitch unless she, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Damn. So, so did, did you go to college? I Poetry? went to community college. So, no. <laughs> you went to a satellite high school. No, you know what? I have to. I, I have to admit Give it. Up and, a I, and I tell um, I, when satellite I do speaking engagements, I tell young people all the time. Out of my biggest regret is not going to college. Um, I was in the music business. I felt like I didn't need to go to college because me too. I was already in radio. I was already doing my dream. But as I became an entrepreneur. Then that's when I said, damn, I should have went to college. So you should have went to college. Yep. You can still go back. It ain't too late. Yep. You can live in the dorms. But you know what? Now in the internet <laughs> age, you can really you can learn a lot just mm-hmm. by reading. He and said doing you can researches. live in the dorms. Yeah, you can go back and have a whole <laughs> undergrad experience. <laughs> Take a whole bunch of little young niggas down. <laughs> new names in your phone. <laughs> Candy corn. <laughs> 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 No, but that Kong. is one of my biggest uh, regrets is that I did Is it Donkey Kong? Yes, you go, don't, <laughs> don't worry about Donkey Kong. <laughs> that nigga get it done. <laughs> but, hey, a lot there are a lot of successful people that didn't go to college. So, mm-hmm. uh, no, pretend. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> Damn. Speedy put his arm up. <laughs> was like, nigga, don't. <laughs> You're not who I'm talking about. <laughs> 
Uh, miss, <laughs> miss this round, nigga. Miss this round. <laughs> uh, anyways, y'all new roll out show. Took a quick break. It is uh, West Coast Wednesdays. Because we changed, it was White Boy Wednesday and somebody. But RT's not here. Yeah, so when he's not here, we we seem to. Uh, you can go ahead and play me. Um, you. What's up? Yeah, that cube in your ear. Bitch. We take a quick break. Come right back. Don't move. Yeah, we are back. I had to play this for the people in the booth. Talking about my selection in music. Fuck what you going through. What's up with her? She hey, 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 hey. Don't do that. Speedy's so protective of her. Oh, oh my Lord, have mercy. Right. Jesus. You see, it came out of nowhere, Speedy. I couldn't control it. Yeah, don't taint our intern. You don't can, taint her. She's, taint? Yes. She's yeah, you can get to be a poetess, but you ain't about to get at Christina. Yeah, it ain't going to happen. No, 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 no. She will be a, well. She mow my speed, man. Nah. Ah, ah. But Speedy, you got to understand, I'm Blake a gentleman and a scholar. I do women right, man. Nah, I can't I'm not one of these niggas, man. Man, I don't know that, man. Well, can't let you have that one. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> see y'all new roll out show right here at Morris Media Studios. It's your boy Speed Doggy Dog, funniest motherfucker you ever gonna meet. Mm. So you can't, I can't go to the movies with her or nothing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> no. What if you there? What if you like a chaperone and shit? You two seats over yet? Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Over and to the left. You could be right there behind us. <laughs> <laughs> I said no, Nate. <laughs> Shit. Too young, man. She just got on this earth. How old are you? She just got on this Brand earth. Brand new. 22. Nigga, that's my speed. No! <laughs> I mean, she go for all the tricks. Uh, nah. She, I had to go somewhere last night. She not. Okay. She's not fucked up yet. Are you trying to fuck her? <laughs> no, nah, like, I would rather have an untainted situation. <laughs> we all. Like a woman that's all bitter and niggas ain't shit, but her. Rah, rah. Like, I don't need that. Oh, 22, put, she's like, love still is real. You, you like, take your clothes off. Put your shit back on, really? I thought I was impressing you. Now, I'm going to 22. <laughs> yeah. She no, still we gossips, nigga. She's 22. <laughs> <laughs> like, girl, let me tell you what I heard. Oh, he cooked, <laughs> right? Yeah. What'd he make? Burgers. <laughs> That's some real shit. Burgers. Mm-hmm. They was stuff, girl. Mm-hmm. They was stuff. <laughs> he he stuff you, girl. No, he a gentleman. <laughs> he left right afterwards. He, t- he cooked for me and then left. That's what football. Like. Now, flag football keep hitting you. What the fuck? None of y'all's business. Listen, I can vouch for you, though, that the nigga does exist. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> or somebody te- texting exists. No, you right. said That's she what... texted herself. <laughs> yes, and she saved her uh, bay and her, it's her own phone number. She texting herself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, it is now time for... <laughs> you like the rhythm? You see, you saw that. All right. What you got for us, P on Weird Wednesday? Um, these nuts. <laughs> you got nuts? Oh, they in your your nuts inside. Yeah, your nuts are up. <laughs> they didn't fall. Had they fail, you be Frank, <laughs> not Felicia. <laughs> you be poet, not poetess. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so when that nigga took his pants off, nigga, I'm a, I'm a boy. <laughs> that was the best line he ever. She's like, let me let you niggas finish with this fuckery. Yeah. <laughs> what you got, baby? So the uh, some white folks are pretty upset about uh, Star mm. Wars Seven. <laughs> you know for what? The black leading character. It was so weird. They talked about this on CNBC, but they they didn't say it like you saying it now. But they were like, well, you know, people are upset about the the lead character, and he did it like that. Which is the brother. So the lead character is one uh, of the lead characters. Okay, he's one of them, not the one that will. <laughs> no, he's one of them. They said the he looked like he came come from Amistad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, whoever cast it is went to Africa. Get this. It was like we need somebody with a broad nose. <laughs> <laughs> we want an unknown Negro to be Hilarious. in space. <clears throat> I, well, I, I'm fine with it because they wouldn't. Ma- I mean, they said trying to say well, no black say people in space. No, the original Star Trek. What's his name? James Earl Jones. You talking about Star Wars? Dark, Star, Star Wars. Wars. I meant. But they never revealed That's who true. it really was. We knew it was James Earl Jones. Yeah. That's but what why about at the when end, Billy D was part of Star yeah, Wars? Yeah, they've had some cold niggas on there, man. Yeah. 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 Billy D. They did. Yeah. Yeah. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. These white yeah. people better get with it. Yeah, they they don't want to. They Everybody don't want to. gonna be black. Yeah. But they weren't the lead characters, right? He's one of the leads. Yeah. 
So. Nigga, they been with the lead, one of the main characters that shit is black. And Darth Vader, that's a nigga, that's man. And, until they took his <laughs> mask off, and then it was the white, it was an old white dude under the mask. We was like, no, it's James Earl Jones. They wouldn't use, they used James' voice. Right. But they didn't use James' face. No, nobody commented. We watched it for shit. years ago, and it's a nigga in that suit. Yeah. <laughs> well, see how shiny he is? That's how black people look when you put the oil this on. This nigga was introducing himself to his kids and shit for the first time. <laughs> that's nigga shit. It's a grown ass boy. I am your father. Nigga, you're black. <laughs> You out, Charles. Right. But go ahead. Well, um... What's his name? What does one call him? Yeah, what's his name? It's a, it's a movement and a hashtag on Twitter. Mm. Oh, shit. Uh, the actor, I don't know. I gotta look his name up. It's like Ajina J. Budinabong. <laughs> but here's the thing. They, they're not gonna be able to do anything. They have so out of tickets. You can't buy no tickets. Yeah, people, mm. they are, they people are lined up just yeah. to see the trailer. It doesn't drop. The shit. movie don't drop to December. So, the, so you know what's gonna happen now. Now people putting up fake things like, I got tickets. Buy them now. Are they, Star gonna Wars start, are they, they gonna sold out? start lining up? Yeah, but they're sold out. Oh, you can't before. buy no more tickets online. They wow. went on sale when they showed the trailer Monday night. Oh my god! Okay. And they sold out like later during the game. The yeah. fanaticism is. just I tell you what's fanatic. dope. You seen the new uh, what's the little R two D two, the little robot? He's joint? round. Yeah, it's like a circle with a yeah. sphere with a head that just stays on top. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but well, they they're doing this hashtag boycott Star Wars seven. Oh, that's bullshit. And then yeah. with that hashtag is white genocide. Like they're trying, Whoa. they're trying to say that all this blackness is causing black genocide. Everybody like gonna be black. That's yeah. okay. Well, they're they gonna be hurting when they come out with the Black Panther movie. They said by the time 2060, which we won't be here, uh, every, it'll be uh, every third person will be Mexican. <laughs> One out of three people will be Mexican. Damn! Wow! At, like at this Where rate, did they get this? No, they had it on CNN this morning. So you're saying that they multiply? They saying that they multiply. <laughs> <laughs> have you Shit. seen Mexican? Yeah, yeah, they do. Shit. It's always and like all they have a is girls. Of them. They have, all they have is yeah, girls. Yeah, that's a lot of women. Yeah, they have a gang. It's like yeah. you see them, it'd be like it'd be the dad, the mom, four little girls, and one little boy. Now that's was, how the Chinese were. They had to start stopping. Like, hey, just two, man. Shit. Yeah. Now wasn't um that's true. Star Wars. I'm not into the Star Wars truly, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. But we need to get to George that. Lucas uh, produced. Star yeah, Wars? Mm-hmm. yeah that's create that's Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's He's him. married to a black woman. Yes, right? he is. Hence, stay focused. You so, stay focused. No, I'm saying. No, I mean, people stay yeah. focused. Yeah. You don't get a nigga up in there. And he has something to do Boston. with uh, one of the black movies. Um, she probably was in the bed going, so we ain't gonna put uh, La Boopoo in the movie. <laughs> La Boopoo. La Boopoo. Red tails. <laughs> George Lucas produced Red Tail. Okay, yeah, Green it's movie. true. He put all yes. his bread up, and he made Red Tails on his own to yes, show the story did. of... And it made money. The Tuskegee the It actually yeah. made money. Mm-hmm. And it did. No, didn't nobody think it would. No. Niggas in a cockpit? Huh? <laughs> 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 Niggas shooting down white people? Get out of here, <laughs> fuckers. <laughs> so, okay. it's going to be black people everywhere. You know, the next, um, the next film in the uh, Marvel series, the next character is a black lead. I know people are getting oh, really The Black upset Panther about that. from Africa. No, he's been black the whole time. He's from a place called Wakanda, nigga. He's black. <laughs> Wakanda or Wakanda? Wa- Wakanda. Okay, they got food stamps. Yeah. Right? They got it's supposed to be like this really rich country and they don't let nobody in. So they have like they've had satellites since the seventeen hundreds. These niggas been balling. Oh like he just don't let nobody in. And they have a uh they have a rare element that everybody wants called vibranium. That's what Captain America's shield is made out of. So niggas keep trying to come into Wakanda, and he's like, get the fuck out of my country. So the next movie is about this nigga in full. White people are going to be screaming in the aisle. We going. Super nigga? Oh, yeah. Hilarious. And I've never really watched the uh, Star Wars stuff, but I'll go see this one because the brother in there. Nigga, the next Spider-Man is black. What's he called? You believe that? Nah, in, in real life, in the comic book, there's black the Widow. white Peter Parker one, and then there's another kid that got bit that's like black and Mexican. And they're about to make that movie, too. Damn. So and Johnny Flame was a nigga. So that's why they mad. The I don't believe mad. you or that picnic table shirt. Listen. But I believe that. Don't get mad at me because you got on bracelet. that. Look. I can All see right. it sparkling over here. Type in Black Spider-Man and blow your mind on that, nigga. All right, I will. All right, let's go to the next story. Next story. Um, a Google employee lives in a 128-square-foot truck in the Google parking lot. <laughs> that's a big-ass truck. I seen it. Yeah, I saw it this morning. He has a uh, bed, a dresser, and a few items in there. Mm-hmm. But he does it to save 90% of his earnings. Mm-hmm. The rest of the earnings he has goes to his student loan or whatever. But he literally lives in the parking lot at Google. He is a software engineer. 
and is he, the truck decked out? It's not it's, decked it's out. Got a he bed, just uses like a twin to sleep. He got like a twin in there, and yeah. But my thing is, he showers in Google. Yeah, he every showers morning. at Google because mm-hmm. Google is a campus. I mean, yeah. it's like everything you need is there already. So yeah. pretty much, he he's like sleeping in a dorm. He just needs a Pretty bed. Pretty much. But he don't have he's, no Because he window. moved from Massachusetts, and he w- even with a roommate, his share of the rent was like 2000 a month. Mm-hmm. And was, Shit. San Where Francisco, is he standing? The Bay Area oh, the is very Bay. Yeah, expensive yeah, yeah. now. And, and they, they had a story about that on how their drive, because of Google and all them, they're driving the Residents, regular people yeah. out of San Francisco because they, the rent is too high. Yeah. Oh, and so that's yeah. only the elite <laughs> lives in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Silicon and that's what Valley. they said. That's what it's turning into a very elite city where you won't have just regular people living because the rent is entire because they're catering to these uh, these uh, uh, people that work for Google and all these different yeah uh, yeah because they have the money taking over yeah so because uh, so anyway um, he decided not to pay is he a janitor rent. nah he's a software engineer, engineer. Oh, no, he so eating. he can't be. He's Broke. eating. And he's eating at Google and probably free. Mm-hmm. So he found a loophole. Yeah, he did. She's like, but all the thing I need is, is a bed I and somewhere know, to put my clothes. I mm-hmm. know if that was a black employee, they oh, would have moved his ass up out mm-hmm. that parking lot. That's because it's Google, not Noogle. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the thing. Noogle. <laughs> he found a loophole, which is all I really do need is somewhere to lay my head. Mm-hmm. And I, I can take a shower here. Mm-hmm. I can eat here. Yep. So I really ain't got to spend no money. I got 90% of my income. If I in want some pocket. pussy, I'll get a room. Yeah. I'll fuck somebody in the school. <laughs> right. On <laughs> campus. <laughs> on campus. <laughs> Bitch, I, where you at? In that truck right there? You want to get in the back of the U-Haul? Mm-hmm. You got to climb it's through the front like seat. A, you got to climb like through the front seat. Though. <laughs> but I'm thinking about air and stuff like that. Like, no, it has the. I'm pretty sure it has vents. Yeah, it's 128 it has... square feet. Okay, guys, it's a big uh, ass truck. It's a big white truck, you guys. Okay, like do you guys ever watch? Uh, it's a moving truck. The show. Uh, uh, they have a show called Little Home, Big Dreams, and people take these. They move into these little, and they put like all the stuff they can into a little mm-hmm. space. Oh, I have seen that. They be living in like yeah. these little slivers yeah. of houses. So they did one about this guy took. Two trailers, mm-hmm. two of those uh, trailers, mm-hmm. and put them together and had a house. One was his bedroom, one was the living room and the kitchen. So it could be done. Mm. No, I mean, he only goes there to sleep, and he says that he doesn't own anything that needs to be plugged in. Like his laptop and stuff, he charges it during the day while Hilarious. he's at the office. Yeah, he, right. he his found cell a phone, yeah. he charges his cell phone, all the things he uses. He How charges, long you been there, does it say? Probably just a couple of months, six months or something like that. He's going to make it a long-ass time, considering he's in the parking lot of a place that has yeah. everything we he, have houses yeah. for. He can't yeah. be late for work. <laughs> they, they got no excuse, right? No traffic. Ah, my car wouldn't start. Right. Nigga. So he don't have a car. Well, he got the truck. He got the truck. He probably got a car next to the pla- truck he and drives. He, and he bought the truck for $10,000 flat out. And he there it is. It's a nice-ass truck. Yeah, yeah, only a white dude could do that. Yeah, yeah. And, that's And, and then boast about because actually he's boasting like, I don't have to do shit because I'm eating right. here. Right, and if a black person did it, oh, he's homeless. Or, or, mm-hmm. or you're taking advantage they of They would the put the story differently. Yeah, yeah, they would. Black guy, read the story again. Uh, black guy takes advantage of a situation. Right. right, right. We pay you this much to account for your cost of living here yeah. in San Francisco. Yeah, but it, but they are they're trying to find a way to change that about San Francisco because the regular people are being driven out. Oh, this need rent mainly, control. Mm-hmm. mainly. No, they, they won't do it mm. because why? Because think about it, if you own property there, why would you want rent control right. if you can get two thousand, five thousand from people who willing willing to pay it right. just just to live in San Francisco? Right. So, I don't know. but I think it's driving out all the black people. They're trying to do the same here in Lamert Park pretty soon. They're trying oh, really? to talk about people over here in the Crenshaw district. Everybody's talking about oh, Crenshaw, but in a minute. Be number one, Yeah, because I got the metro they're building over here, and they are building a Kaiser and a different. Y'all about to get a professional football team somewhere over here, too. Mm. Well, in uh, Inglewood, maybe. Inglewood. Possibly. They're going to bring two teams to this city. Watch. You that's that's what they're Carson? thinking. They're thinking uh, Carson and, and but, Inglewood. But why would you have two different stadiums? That's, that's the only thing I don't get. You got to do it. Yeah. Well, it we, can't be like what they're doing in Oakland. These niggas is playing on a baseball field. <laughs> this is the most disrespectful <laughs> shit. They should have never approved that. The 50 <laughs> yard line is literally the shortstop's position. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of weird. <laughs> These niggas got money. I like Dude because he found a way through the system. 
Mm-hmm. See? I, mad at that. I like that nigga. I that mean, nigga. hey, if he you can live like box. that, then why yeah. not? Yeah. You know? I shit. If I I would have stayed home longer with my parents <laughs> if I knew any better. <laughs> right. I try to tell about my stepson, I said, man, y'all don't understand. If I could go back home right now, I'd move in now. Mama, everybody in. She can live with me. That's girl. why I think them Asians doing it right, man. I'm oh, from yeah. Seattle. Up there, the Cambodians live together in the houses. And it'd be like all of the siblings, they don't move out yeah, until... Yeah, Filipinos live like that, too. They don't move out until oh, they yeah. have a certain amount of savings. Mm-hmm. Then when they do, another family member can come move into that space. Mm. That's crazy. Wow. They be having well, two and three refrigerators I mean, and shit. That's... <laughs> I'm, I'm not making this up, man. But we they all a, be rich. We have a call. Caller, what's your name and where you calling from? Yeah, this is D from Brooklyn. What's up, y'all? Hey, D, what's what up? What it do, D? These nuts. Up, yeah, I, I do the same thing, yo. Know? I work at I work at the KFC on Atlantic Avenue by the Barclay Center. <laughs> man, I park my boots in the quarter. Come on, bro. In front of the, you know, in back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? D. <laughs> God damn it, D. D. Where you eat at? <laughs> you, you eat at work. Everything at work. At KFC, I get a bucket. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nigga, you need some vegetables in the house. In the forty. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday night, I couldn't get no pussy because of the dough lot. You know what I mean? So, you said the dough lot. <laughs> yeah, the dough lot. Crazy. D, you crazy as fuck, man. Went to homecoming over the weekend, though. A lot Where, of cues down there. Which one? Virginia State. Oh, my boy's down there. Yeah, yeah okay. Boy, the moist one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you yeah. talking about? My boy Ray. He, go, he went he there. moist? I, I mean, seen him down there one year. You saw Ray? Yeah. Yeah. hmm He said, yeah. Uh, yeah, nigga, he said cues. You heard what he said? Oh, he said a lot of cues be at Virginia State. I heard more. Oh, yeah, new side chapter. Mm-hmm. I'm not a Q, though. Well, you said that with confidence, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I put a lot of chess on that. New side, nigga. <laughs> If you were a Q, you wouldn't be living in your car at KFC. <laughs> <laughs> this thing about having a place for brothers to stay, who would have took care of you? <laughs> I, think I know, right? But yeah, but uh, I just wanted to, I just wanted to chime in and say and give you a little quick shout out. Thank you, brother. Appreciate Thanks. that, man. All right, bro. Yeah, All right, right, bye. Yeah, call us up three two three two nine three 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 seven five. Is um, the number to call into? Our next story, um, Speedy. Damn. Nigga, is the studio taking off? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, oh, that's bombed. hella loud, and we're in a soundproof that? room. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Speedy, do you have a rush card? <laughs> yes. Did you have problems with it? I haven't used it in a while, but I used to. Oh, uh, yeah, because they have this big thing now that um, people weren't able to access their money over the past, I think, two weeks now. What the fuck? Oh, two whole weeks? Yep, and um, they said it got so bad that Russell Simmons was even sending out personal emails and responses to no, people. No, nigga, you need to Saying send personal what? What money. What did he say? I mean, sorry? That he's sorry that they're working on it, you know. You know, that's a really cool touch for Russell to sit down and be like, man, I know these people are in a predicament. No. He might have sent some money, nigga, for real. Mm. Uh, you can't write me no letter. Send me money. Rich I say people he might are have, the though. stingiest people ever. Man, rich if, people, people. if you got a rush card, you ain't looking for no whole bunch of money anyway. you like, look, nigga, I just need $216. <laughs> 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 trying to pay this card and get some Similac. Right. Russell got that. that. Like, yeah, he should have just get yeah, it. Yeah, thank you for using my rush card. Boom. I'll take the L. That's what he said. They should have took the L. Shoot people their money, and you take the and you wait for the money. To, that way, you take it out there. Account. Being down for two weeks is ridiculous. That's a long time. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, since October twelfth. Damn, that's crazy. And since rush card, there's a lot of people have mm-hmm. you know debit card. Everybody has it. You go to you can't even go to check cash. You want one eye debit card? That's a lot better than that rush card. Yeah. Right. But they're um they say what is it five ninety nine per month or a dollar per use. Yeah. Um, up to uh, 10 uses. Uh, yeah, they, a dollar they, per use. That's not even counting what the bank's going to charge you when they, yeah. when you go to use ATM, because I think they charge like $3. Yeah. It's yeah. a really fast way to make your money disappear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. ATM machine? But if you got to pay something with a card, you got to pay with a card. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but that, a lot of people with rush cards, they, they, then, they got an occupation where cash is king, so... And they got the new... No, I won't say new, but... Prepaid. You ever try to pay your yeah, card? a lot note? of people don't put their money in the bank. Hell no. Because they're scared that, you know, apocalypse come and you can't get to your money. It's It's Wall Street apocalypse. We ain't worried about all that shit. (laughs) These niggas is gambling on horses. But uh, they have a thing, like when you go to pay your card note or something, then they charge you $10 for using a debit card Mm -hmm. to pay your card note. $10.99. Yeah. And they go, would you like to pay that? 
You got no choice. I guess shit. And they're like, cool, now we're going to patch you over to the automated system. And, <laughs> and, and they hey, have I'm a... I'm paying $10.99 for a computer to talk to me? When you sign up for the Rush card, they yeah. have an arbitrary, uh, what is it, arbitrary clause in there that says that you cannot file any cla- uh, um, class, class action, action lawsuits. suits. Yeah. That don't mean shit. Oh, so in really? other words, this little thing, this two weeks thing, so <laughs> they can. you ass out. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, no, nah, you can still go to court. No, Russell got to send me some money. Russell, no, I'm good. Do you see the money in the account? I just, you know, I have a rush card. I have another card. I haven't used my rush in a while, but yeah, I, I'd have been sick. Mm. I need that. I want you said two what two nineteen. Get the same election. Two nineteen. I need that. Yeah, because you know because they say that people with the rush card are usually low income people. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, you know. which means you was in line holding the line up. No, run it again. Right. And that exactly. A lot of people and face you on, that. You on the phone in line? Like, no, I'm here now. You want to talk? To, here, they want to talk to you. Right. You thought you was in a rush before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, put Russell on the phone because it's a problem right now. Right. <laughs> you talk to somebody important. <laughs> you ever do that? You ever call and go? Can I speak to your supervisor? And you know the motherfucker like sure. Hey, take this call, niggas. Nigga, on top. Right, exactly. Right. Just you know say you didn't. Yeah. 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 Uh, I am the supervisor. How can I help you? Right. Bitch, you ain't the supervisor. I used to right. work at a uh, T-Mobile thing. I would change my voice. <laughs> you did. Really? Yeah, this is supervisor. Who can I help you with? <laughs> <laughs> well, see, well, the last motherfucker didn't do what I asked him to do. Oh, he ain't shit. Listen, so let me help you. <laughs> <laughs> Understand the issue you're dealing with. How can I assist you? My rush card ain't working. Is <laughs> that how you sound my, my rush card not working. The last dude couldn't help me. Let me see. What's your uh, social security number? I gave it to you already. Account. Okay. What's the last four? 2275. Okay, 2275. Sir, you only need $8. <laughs> $8 for what? That's what you're trying to get out the ATM, sir. The problem is you don't have a balance of greater than $20 to make it with But I just talked to the last dude, and he said he saw the 20 on there. Fuck the last dude, okay? We already talked about this. Now, how much money you need, player? $8. All right, that's all I want you to do. Go to your couch, flip the cushions. Nigga, look in there. You're going to find 22 quarters, 19 dimes, 22. five nickels, three pennies, a Canadian coin we ain't going to use. <laughs> Tampon. Ain't gonna be Can easy. I speak to the other guy, please? Yeah, hold on. Let me pass him back. Okay. Hey, nigga, he don't want to talk to me no more. <laughs> yeah, he can't. Make- well, I'm going to talk to the nigga. Either. Listen, nigga, you ain't got a choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello? Hey, man, the last dude didn't really help me out. <laughs> nigga, you asked for my supervisor. I gave him to you. Now you mad. Do, do you have it's a rush card, nigga, not Visa. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's on his phone? Do you have another supervisor I can speak to? <laughs> Let me see what I can come up with. <laughs> Sound like the same motherfucker. <laughs> it is me, nigga. You gotta go through me to get to a different nigga. You think we organize you? We don't. We don't put you on hold and patch you, nigga. We hand a cell phone down the line, nigga. <laughs> As always, <we're>, hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. Somebody different. Look here. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, they work that out. Russell, send them their money, man. Don't send right. Them fucking that's crazy. You know, that's a prepaid card. Pretty much, you put in what you get out. Let's, I'm sorry. Yeah, you if can't you've been uh-huh. making a dollar per transaction, they have it yeah. to pay the people back. Absolutely. And you can put no more. You can't have more than a five thousand in there on the card, and you can't put more than nine hundred at one time. You can't mm-hmm. do a thousand. Wait. What? So if I'm going to put money in your card and like say I owe you a thousand dollars, I can't mm-hmm. put a. 1, you can only put nine hundred. I can only put nine hundred. And you said five thousand. You don't only have five thousand on the card. At maximum. At max. So how come? Oh, so so, so your paycheck could be five thousand. Yeah, but if your paycheck's five thousand, you don't, you don't have, a rush, have a rush card. Have a rush card. Oh, that's why it's that. lower income people. Because most of the time, you're not gonna have more than at the most I've ever had on my rush card at one time, just for this bullshit like this, probably like seven hundred dollars, mm-hmm. at the most. Mm-hmm. And it's usually to cover. One, like you have, you know what you're putting the cash on there for. Like, yeah. let me mm-hmm. pay this so I can put this and pay cover this bill. It. Yeah. You know, over and then too, it, it helps you because I, I know if I have cash, I spend it. If I put it on the card, I don't feel like. Does it help running. you establish any kind of credit no, line? No, not really. No. It's a card. It's just like instead of having cash, you have a card. It's like a prepaid you, card. you ever go to the uh, to the uh, uh, um, grocery store and you see that line of uh, all the, the little tower, all the little cards. Yeah, all the, that's all yeah. those are. Uh, American Express, yeah. mm. uh, Green Green like Dot. Cards. They had to get rid of like no. They had to get rid of Green Dot okay. because motherfuckers found out how to make Green Dots 
how to put money on Green Dot without putting money on Green Dot. Ah, yeah. damn it. They Why do the niggas always come up with the good hustles? I don't know. Oh, the loop. Because at 7-Eleven, Green Dots was on fire. Yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah. found out how to put money on without putting money on. Right. They had to throw the, all them motherfuckers away. I know. As soon as he pressed enter and that shit went, it worked the first time, yeah. they're like, oh! <laughs> this motherfucker and, uh, Nigga, you thought the dot was green before. <laughs> <laughs> and you, yeah. was it in Africa where they always try to get over motherfuckers? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah that's uh, 120 people. Ethi- no, not Ethiopia. Uh, Nigeria. 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 Nigerians, they'll find a loophole. Them motherfuckers. They good. will. Nigeria. Not all of y'all. Just 82% of y'all motherfuckers. They be getting you. Mm-hmm. What else you got, babe? A man is suing for $5 million after a huge pine cone falls off a tree and cracks his skull. <laughs> oh, that's not funny. Wait. Cracks his skull? Who's he skull? suing? The park? The, the park. Oh, okay. The bear that dropped it? I'm like, huh? Yeah. Bo- uh, uh, boo-boo, you in trouble, nigga. Nigga, if it cracked his skull, somebody threw that motherfucker. <laughs> like, what Damn, was, pine that? cones that big, though? What they make I guess pine cones that big? Cracks his skull? Um, Damn. they said he was on vacation after losing his job. Oh, yeah. Oh, he wow. trying to get them Chad. Go on, get mm-hmm. some money. He was napping under some trees in the San Francisco <laughs> Park. Must be Golden Gate Park, maybe. Uh-huh. While waiting to watch the Blue Angels perform when his skull was crushed by a falling 16-pound pine cone. God damn. Where was he in a national pound? park? Was he in a redwood forest? Nigga, why was the pine cone so big? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. 16 pounds? That's heavy. That yeah. is That's heavy. That's twice the size of newborn. <laughs> That's true. That's a, he got hit with, who hit me? Nah, exactly. He, he, he sued bled uh, the park and a number of government agencies. Uh, he's seeking $5 million. The guy has, um, they say, irreversible brain injury. Wow. Shit. And he's only in his uh, 50s. Uh, he <laughs> had two only. surgeries uh, already. Over. <laughs> about to have a hot next six years. <laughs> <laughs> spend all that money now. Put that shit on a uh, Bro, rush card. Shit. Put it on a rush card. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> that's how, great. He gonna get paid. How can you sue a tree? You gotta sue the park the tree. They right. say yeah. the pine cone comes from a bunya tree. Bunya pine but tree. But someone has. They said whose seed pods can weigh up to forty pounds. Spell bunya. <laughs> B u n y a. Here's the thing. In order to sue someone, it has to be someone. So, so in other words, they should have cut this down is what he's saying. Mm, I don't know. That's almost like a freak of nature type yeah, cause accident. Yeah, because otherwise you're saying that the park goes around, cut these things down so they don't hurt somebody, and they didn't for you. And that you got one hit. time. Yeah. Well, they probably should. Those are dangerous if they're that heavy. How about right. not sleeping up under that tree? Let's if they dropping 16-pound no, bombs, nigga, you got to... God damn. damn. Let me see. Yeah, this nigga's gonna get paid. Let me see. <laughs> the size of this part. It, oh listen. Oh my God. If you're thinking of like a. Uh, oh shit. Yeah, those are big. Washington State Evergreen style fir tree pine cone. This ain't no goddamn. Just, this is oh. a cannonball. This it's the look size like a, of like mm-hmm. a pineapple. It looks like, like a bowling ball. Yeah, yeah and it looks like they, they do say that they're. I think they mentioned. Looks like a watermelon. I bet it's you not airy like either. I bet you this, though. I bet you put that in your car. Smell good. Long time. What's in the back? A pine cone. They said it was like getting hit by a falling bowling ball. That's what this is. It looked like a watermelon to me. Yeah. But they're like a foot across. So here's the thing. Who's helping him with the lawsuit if his brain fucked up? Mm. He can't think. (laughs) Uh, I don't know. I'll be here all day. I'll be here all day. (laughs) I don't and miss. that's it for the Poetist Report. You got Damn. some sports, Speedy? Yes, I do. Yo, it's no. bigger than a pineapple. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah, it is, pretty, <laughs> yeah, it is bigger than... Uh, <laughs> so loud. What in the I'm sorry, it's my fast. Do it again, so do it again. Oh, Sports yeah, Center? It's now time. Yeah, we be we steal people's shit and just make it up. <laughs> and in baseball news, it's pretty much over. It's pretty. The Royals uh, beat the Blue Jays 14-2, to taking a 3-1 decisive lead in that one. Four games win the whole, moves on to the World Series. It's pretty much going to be the Royals. And the Mets beat the Cubs. Cubs had action at this fucking game last night. I watched it. 5-2, to two, and it's pretty much over for the Cubs. Even though people felt like this was the year for the Cubs, they'll probably have never have another year like this. Uh, I would. It's probably going to be Blue Jays and Mets in the uh, World Series. Too bad, because uh, you mean yeah. Royals and Mets. Royals and Mets, same thing. 
Uh, probably in, in what you call it. And in, uh, in basketball news, <laughs> my Clippers whooped the motherfucking Golden State Warriors ass last night. It was preseason. I don't give a fuck. Shut your mouth. Well, you know. <laughs> And and uh, little yellow boy didn't play, but I don't give a fuck. Don't oh, matter. We won. It doesn't count if he didn't play. Yeah, we won. Don't matter. Mm-hmm. Uh, the real season starts next week, ladies. We apologize, but it's sports heaven right now. Baseball, football, basketball, everything, hockey, all that shit's playing right but now. But your team lost in baseball, right? They're out. Dodgers, fucking Dodgers. Man, man I thought they were gonna do it. I thought the Dodgers were gonna every do year. it this every, year. Last year they should have did it. This year, no, nah, not every year. Shit. But nigga, this year and last year, y'all look nice. And in baseball, because the season is so long, nigga. and when you have good seasons like this, it's hard to duplicate. It's hard that. to take because you just felt like a winner for 157 games. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah then you lose some bullshit. But anyway, uh, the biggest story right now out is Louisville. Uh, coach is under fire there because of a, uh, they find out, which I'm pretty sure it happens in all schools, uh, that the basketball players were being lured. The recruits were coming to the school mm-hmm. and uh, the some of the, coaches there. I want to say one of the coaches or something like a coach was hooking them up with a prostitute and she was, you know, oh, damn. to get them to go to school. Just like in, uh, uh, <laughs> what was the movie with Spike Lee? Uh, uh, he Got Game. Yeah. Same shit. Come really? on. Yeah, I know that. Come on. Uh, like that doesn't happen. They, they just got caught pretty they much. Got, they got caught. Mm-hmm. And, but the, the bad part about it is that the coach has is, is been going on for four years. Oh, really? Yeah. They for just four years. For the and the coach said, uh, Nick uh, Patino said, I don't know what happens. Because Nick said, I'm only there during the season. Mm-hmm. Other times I'm in Miami. I'm not there. And they like, nah. Maybe if it was going on for a few months, you wouldn't know. But for four years. And the young lady just came. And, and supposedly the young lady, her mom, is, had been taking notes. That because, you know, she said, my daughter's been fucking these dudes for the last four years. Oh, really? So she got dates, times? Yeah. The mom was pimping the daughter much, out? But she, they about to get in trouble because uh, they gonna wow. flip the script on that. Let me tell you something. There's a few people at fault here, and I don't know if it's any of the recruits. No, because everybody knows to get down. You get there, and all of a sudden, hey, here, here's Pam. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she likes flag football. Exactly. exactly. She come through the door, turn her sideways so her shoulders don't hit the side. <laughs> Hi. I'm Pam. Here's who's at fault, man. If you are a girl... And you attend Louisville. Are you watching them on the Final Four being playoff contenders every single season? What you mad about? Why ain't you fucking? <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't have to pay nobody to come in and fuck. Like, there. these are the recruits. There's plenty of universities that got set out. Mm-hmm. And when the recruits are like, look, y'all make them feel good. Have them niggas and come that's, here. That's the code word. Make them feel good. Yeah, show them a great <laughs> time. Show them a great time. And that she got true. a miniskirt on. And the cleavage is all out. Exactly. And In fact, they he, even got a Bible to give it to these niggas. Yeah. It's a, it's if a shame. If anybody's ever watched the movie, he got game. Uh, uh, Spike Lee pretty much depicts that whole scene when uh, when he opens the door and the two white girls is on the bed and my man and Jesus Shuttleworth went for me for you brother right Reality. just in case you want to go here mm-hmm. Reality, just in case Reality. you want to go here boom he was like all right and hey, come on man that's how I get down so I don't know why they're getting brand new but I think Rick is in trouble. He shouldn't be. I do believe, well, he the really? coach. And to say that you don't know what's going on. Of course they act like he been pushing these niggas' butt cheeks while they fuck. <laughs> I'm a, let me unbuckle your pants. Yeah. Get, get, get on Sex is a consensual thing between the two people having it. Ain't yeah. got shit to do with the coach. He can surround them in prostitutes. If you got a young Christian recruit that's like, no, nah, I'm not into that, then what? Mm-hmm. You can't get in trouble because you tried and he turned it down. These things are the ones that slid the rubber on and, and went stroke for stroke with each other, high-fiving. And within that four years period is when they won the title. Yeah. So what do you do? Now, and they, one nigga broke his calf. Oh, yeah. He, he actually got in the league. He's in the league. Yeah, they sucked him back to hell. Hilarious. He's <laughs> 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 saving the <players> too. <laughs> Suck back. <laughs> Let me get that pain out yeah, your Sucked all the little marrow out. He healed up just fine. He in the league now. Hey, we know that's the get down. But anyway, so Rick is in trouble. The school's in trouble. I don't think but they got to try to figure it out. But uh, if anybody get through, Rick can. Because you know he got that. Oh, uh, yeah. He can get out of it. He can get out Trust of it. He's not no, responsible. He's responsible if they find the, the Trent Jackson on his rush card. <laughs> exactly. Or he fucked him in the on gym. his statement. Did, did you fuck him in the gym? No. Well, yeah, right. yeah. Outside the gym, I don't know what going. That's the what coach I was dropped. Did Absolutely. the coach make for the hotel or the bitch? Then he's not on him. Right. <laughs> he could just hang out with hoes. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And they come around, and then what they do is what they do. And tomorrow night is Thursday night football, so make sure uh, all the football fans. Uh, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, there's football, basketball, and the baseball game tomorrow night. And tell you. So, again, you can definitely get it on. Uh, last night in uh, NBA scores, uh, 
Timberwolves uh, lose to the Bucks, 88 to 106. Mm-hmm. Spurs lose. They really don't care about the preseason. No, nobody cares. They don't really give. They don't. They be working out one nigga for the whole mm-hmm. preseason. <laughs> Trying to see if they gonna keep. Them. Spurs lost to the Suns, uh, 84 to 104. Uh, Tim, uh, um, Jazz and the Thunder's play, and that was a great game. Mm-hmm. Well, it got kind of boring toward the end, but Thunder looked good. Did they? Thunder look real. They gonna it's gonna be really hard to they beat. They always look good though. That's but I mean, issue. as they long as they got out. Kevin Durant, is he back? Oh yeah, his he foot's walked. good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They said he had that gout. <laughs> <laughs> well, he had the fracture that Bill Walton had. Oh. Okay. That, that those kind of NBA, uh, players. So it was get. legit. Yeah. Okay. And it's it's the little hairline fracture that mm. you can't seem to get healed because you're walking. Right. You literally have to put that boot on, and that's the boot. Right. And. Uh, they was like, if this surgery don't do it, then it could be a wrap. But they say he's healthy because you don't want that Bill Walton one. Bill Walton shit is terrible. Bill and uh, what's the big Japanese or Chinese? Yao. Yao Ming, same one. Oh, yeah. Wow. And which was, was a worthless. hairline fracture in the foot, and it's right where you need it you, if you're going to play basketball. Right. If you're just going to go up some stairs, you're good. Right. You Anything good. flat footed, you're all right. Yeah. So you got to <laughs> use your art. Yeah. It's a wrap. You're on a bike, you're good. You're okay. On the bike, you're good. But, uh, and that's sports with Speedy up in this bitch. Thank yep. you, sir. What the fuck are y'all doing over there? Is that what we're supposed to say? Did you ever notice these two look up? They like mommy and daughter. No, we don't. That's our studio. They do daughter. look like it. Studio mom, studio daughter. Anyway, you want to be our um, chaperone poetess? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's going to be me and her and you and poetess now. <laughs> like, baby, ignore the arguing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just that, focus. That's not going to be us. <laughs> <laughs> got some music queued up, Speedy. Uh, baby, I always got shit queued up, but that's not. What are y'all in there laughing about, boy? Somebody posted a picture of a dude with a midriff shirt on. Hilarious. With those draws. With a poop, a poop air? Yeah. Nigga, don't act like a... So what I'm going to say to that nigga? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to everybody listening and in the chat room. Hit us up, 323-293-3375. Take a quick break and we'll be right back. Oh, when I heard this shit, I wanted to be a game of it so bad. I could crib walk so good today. I was right here. As long as nobody wasn't around, I was like, yeah, look. You can crip walk? Oh, yeah, I crip walk. With them shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I them actually off. didn't like this song. What the fuck? What? I like, thought Caesar. it was too commercial. What? Yeah. The first time you heard it, you were like, I don't know. Yeah, I was. No believe way. Believe it or not. But no of course way. I love it now. I've had a couple songs that I heard that I was not feeling off top and then they grew on me. Yeah. Which like was? Usher, yeah. I felt like oh, it was I way, that. I thought it was way too slow. Really? Yeah, and then the other one was um, the Jay Z song. Uh, it came out recently, like Niggas in Paris or something. I was like, nigga, this is never what? Make it. Yeah, coldest line hip hop. What's fifty grand to a motherfucker like me? Can you please remind me? Ball so hard. I don't know if that's the song then. <laughs> <laughs> that's the greatest line hip hop. Tom Ford. <sighs> that might have been. I love it. Tom Ford though. But it he was said, the, it was the loud. Ball so hard, motherfuckers trying to find me. What's 50 grand to a motherfucker like me? Can you please remind me? Ball so hard. Did We're 50 ball? grand from a nigga like anybody in this room, nigga. We balling. Life is good. Yeah. For at least a 50. If you got 50K right now. To be reminded about. In other words, you don't, you don't you know lose. where it is. You know, so I gave you 50 right now. Portis, what you do with the 50? Invest back in my company. Hate you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or like you go buy some sneakers. You ain't got to be yet. 50 grand. You got 50 right now. Just dropped in your lap. Yeah. What you doing? Uh, I'm gonna pay off my car, and uh, I'm gonna uh, go on tour. <laughs> on tour? Yeah. Okay. Throw, I'm gonna throw my own shows. I like that. Okay. Fifty grand fell in your lap. Bam. Um, pay off my car. Um, you, that car ain't paid off yet. Oh, you no, wrong. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's a ninety-six. That car track. <laughs> it's a Hyundai Tiburon. <laughs> it's really not. I only got a couple more payments, but um. <laughs> <laughs> Three more payments. Can I use my rush card? No, bitch. <laughs> Can't use your rush card. You the reason the system went down. <laughs> right. I'd give my parents some money. Oh. I'd, I'd hire a nurse for my mom, pretty much. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely have to do I'd that. definitely send some money home. Uh, yeah, I'm I'd, about I'd, to I'd, fuck yeah. everybody up. What you gonna <laughs> buy some sneakers? I'm in the mall, bitch! No. <laughs> 50 grand ain't that much, though. Like, but, but It's you, really not. It's not, but 50 grand to it's a not. regular person, you can work some uh, things out. 
Mm-hmm. You could definitely. You can make some. You get. Yeah, you you can get, get your get, life together. First of all, you you're gonna have breathing room again. There, that's all I'm saying. I don't care who you are. The middle class is nigga fifty thousand right now. Yeah, <sighs> just dropped in your lap. Thank you, tax Jesus. Free. Nobody know you got it. Right, nigga, that's in your clothes. You peel off a hundred at a time. Mm-hmm. No, I would definitely spruce this place up. Yeah. And food. then doing that, it would be really. But I would do the same. Like I would go. I would get a bunch of guys who I know could bring pain, and we hit the road. And right. I mean, because you do like thousands. You got to make it work for you. Yeah. You got to invest it right. I mean, it's yeah. not a lot, but you got to invest in making more. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. So a tour would be good because yeah. then you could. I take three racks, do a runoff, shoot a DVD, divide the profits between all the comics. And then we hit the road with all the audio and the video that we already got. Yeah, and everybody should have some type of t-shirt. We have t-shirts. You got to have all this shit in the lobby. And niggas is in the lobby. You got to flip the. You got to flip the bread. Yeah, you got to flip mm-hmm. it. All right, it's a, the all new Roller Show right here at Morris Media Studios. That's where we be at. We can't tell you the actual location because you niggas might show up. <laughs> Somebody in the chat room knows exactly where, where we are. are. I don't what know how he knows. He was like, they went to McDonald's across the, the street. street. Yeah. They went to the 7-Eleven next door. I'm like, damn, where is yeah, this Yeah, watching nigga? us. Nigga. You <laughs> probably just Google it. Uh, nigga. You really? keep saying more studios. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas ain't retarded. It don't come up like that. It ain't listening. It's a black person. Man, you got to go on Google. <laughs> <laughs> and use your rush card when you go on. There. Exactly. <laughs> Because niggas got a restaurant. But one thing, um, don't forget to join us in Hawaii at Please. the Hobo. Um, 2016, go to upacplan.com. It's from January 28th to February 2nd. And then Poetess, what do they need to do? Uh, click on Pro Bowl 2016. Book now. You'll see all the listings of the packages. The more people you bring, the less the packages. And when you order your package, um, click on uh, Rollout as your promoter. Yeah, and the last day you can do this is next Friday. Well, is it next Friday or Friday after that? Friday after next. And uh, so please get involved. All you got to uh, do is put 100 bucks down. And I'll reserve that for you. We definitely want people to come hang out with us. Uh, we have other events coming up as well, but we really want people to get to this Hawaii thing. And black folks, you need to come take on. a vacation. Sometimes you don't do that. Can't and, take the money with you. Yeah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> uh, and, and I found even doing what we do, because I don't look at what I do as a job. And to me, when I would get a chance to go on cruises, I'd use that as my vacation. I never knew how relaxing a cruise or just getting away can be. And uh, this Pro Bowl event is going to be really nice. We're going to be by the pool doing the show. They got all kinds of things happening from Thursday all the way till we leave on on, uh, Monday. That's what's up. I I have a show out there. I'm booked. I'm not particularly sure which night. So hopefully it's not a conflicting event. Because no, I want to be able to kick it with y'all, and y'all be able to kick it with me. But I'm yeah. doing a Pro Bowl show for the Qs, the the uh, Hawaiian Qs are throwing a comedy oh, show. We'll see. Oh. Nate nice. will be there, so yeah, I'm so sure nice. we'll hook up. Hawaii, Waikiki going to be cracking. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. going to be awesome. And this, they haven't been there in, what, two, Think two years? Two years? They've been yeah. in Phoenix. They tried that out, and yeah. uh, they're going right back to Hawaii. <laughs> uh, all of the Hawaiian. So, business. Pam, in the <laughs> chat room, they want to see you crit walk. No, they don't. Uh, no. I need to. <laughs> <laughs> Crenshaw, no, we ain't gonna no, get I'm not crib walking. We thanks, inside. Guys. I'll crib walk one day. Maybe if you guys come to Hawaii, I'll crib walk for you. How about that? Mm. In Hawaii? Crib walk on his dick, shit. <laughs> 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 I'm like, damn. That just, turned, crib... that just made Pam wet. <laughs> yeah, it sure did. This motherfucker's moist now. Uh-huh. It's lube Especially down. because it ain't been getting hot. <laughs> yeah. You don't need no leakage on it. It's yeah. all ready to go. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ever do it, pull it forward, get that little leakage, and drip that on them too soon? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, pull what forward? <laughs> Nasty. At least the intern ain't in here to hear that shit. <laughs> right? That's why I can't holler at the intern, because Speedy's using leakage to, <laughs> <laughs> to lubricate a story. vaginas. <laughs> hey, shit. Some people like leakage. For those just tuning in, we have uh, Nate. It's- Nate Jackson. Jackson. Oh, yeah. in the house. People are like, who is who this is nigga? This? Who is this? We have no, they, what they call him? They said, uh, who is that? Uh, Ruben Stutter. Ru- Ruben Stutter. <laughs> oh, you niggas ain't shit. The <laughs> nigga who said that ain't got no fingers. He tight with his nubs. <laughs> <laughs> I keep hitting the M and the N. It's <laughs> Mr. Nate Jackson if y'all want to, you know. <laughs> to follow you on. Yeah, if you want to keep in contact. For what? Twitter, Instagram, Vine, Periscope. Nigga, do you have a selfie stick? I yes, do. I thought does. we were going to take a, like a group picture or something, so I brought it. We'll take it. I actually came out and then ran back to get it. Like, oh, it's a group selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Remember I came out and then you were That's like. That's what you went to go get it? Yeah, I went back like, man, I got to get this, man, because people can Where'd see it? us shining. Where'd you go get it from? You rode with me. 
No, it was in my you house. When went, remember when he came out and said, hey, wait a minute? Oh, I thought he was like, like, anytime now, nigga. That's what I ran back. I got this. So let me, let's, get, let's set the table. So you went back in to get your selfie stick? I had to run in there and get my selfie stick. <laughs> everybody say, everybody talks shit about the selfie stick until the pictures come out. Like, damn, nigga, okay. Have, have you ever fucked with using the selfie stick? No. It's a beast. You tried that? Speedy it's got one. Shit. He got one. I need a, uh, nigga, a stabilizer, next, nigga. I be no, fucking. Next time you fuck, pull out your selfie. I'm telling you, it's a beast. I don't got to uh, watch myself fuck body yet, so I'm going to keep on <laughs> dropping weight. <laughs> <laughs> you if mean I, if I'm feeling myself, fuck, it got to be. I can hold it with my hand. It need to be close. Just let's just look at the stroke itself. Well, that brings a whole new meaning to selfie stick. Exactly. You bring it in the bedroom. Look. Yeah, really. I'm with that. You don't get but it. But I need some close ups, goddamn it. No, that's why I got my midriff on. Oh, I had all. Oh, you, 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 you fucking your shirt. So men are as modest as women. Hell yeah, but wait, just a second. Because Pam, <laughs> Pam has sex with her midriff on too. Mm-hmm. Not with me, you won't. No. <laughs> I guess Not if you get crib walking on that dick. Yeah, you're going to be butt-ass fucking naked being appreciated. I'm going to blow bubbles on your stomach. We're going to enjoy ourselves. We're going to be two big naked niggas just like, it, you bubbles. know what, world? Sweat. Okay. Sweat. Now, do you like, I want to say do you like, mm-hmm. do you mind if a guy sweats like he's sweating? And oh, I like on, that. And it drip on you? Ew, no. It doesn't bother me. See, that's why you ain't. I like my shit real dick. nasty. Do you make him get up, poet? Wait, you make him wipe I wasn't face? looking. The mic, I heard I like my shit real nasty and don't know who had said it. <laughs> I did. I was over here. You did? No, I like it real just nasty. Are you one of them just spread it all around on the nigga back? Just rubbing the sweat into the nigga? <laughs> yeah, I do whatever. Because like, I sweat. Pam, she major. do whatever. He say he wanna fuck. You just got your nigga took. Pam, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I will do. I will put in work. I it. don't mind sweat, but I don't want it dripping on my face. Dripping on dripping sounds gross. Yeah, dripping. I, I and I used to that. date a dude that was sweaty as fuck. And what'd you tell him? Get up? Or just wipe yourself. Don't wipe yourself off. Just, uh. I find it frustrating that like if a girl's like, uh sweat. I don't sweat like crazy, but like, bitch, I'm I, working, bitch. If you was, I sweat like crazy. I sweat like we Ew, like it's a pickup game. Is, oh. I, I, sweat like, I, I sweat like nigga. Uh, whose team you on? You know, I you start team? sweating after, nigga. No, I sweat like. I be the just bust a cloud. Oh shit! Oh shit! I start sweating. <laughs> First stroke is <laughs> my bad. I'm, I mean, I'm wiping the face like my bad. She's like, did you it. just come on me? No, nah, bitch, I sweat. That's just sweat. shut up, bitch. Shut up. <laughs> Give me a minute. Just don't. If you shut the fuck up, I can come. You keep talking. I don't. That's right. But you want it dripped all on, you don't give a fuck? I don't give a fuck. Mm. She don't, I don't. care. Mm. I like it when you turn my hair another texture. Oh, shit. Seriously. I know you put in work We're going to take a quick hair. break, come right back. <laughs> <laughs> shit. That's the best shit I ever heard in my fucking life. Start Turn. fucking with a relaxer and finish with a whole head full of edges. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. She got edges on the top. <laughs> Are you getting uh, weed? Yeah, bitch. I got like the edges. <laughs> so you want to like, turn it to a natural. You want to yep. look like... And I've, I've had that. Mm. You want mm-hmm. that nappy brown? Absolutely. Mm. <laughs> That's why you name that nigga nappy brown. Poet has had a nigga Poet turn her into a black power activist. <laughs> 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 Came out the room looking like Angela Davis. Right. Like, what the fuck happened to you in there? Free the people. Exactly. <laughs> he, put the, he put that Huey penis on me. <laughs> nigga, the what? The Huey, Huey penis. penis. <laughs> Huey Newton. He put the Huey Newton down. <laughs> That's what's wrong. That's with what the, the people was for, baby. Day. They mm. don't know how to stick together. See, as black people, we must stick together. <laughs> you know, my pussy. Sad, bitch. <laughs> That's gotta have that nigga. He's got so much pussy. It's ridiculous. Nigga, them say, sad, bitch. This is what I'm saying. You know, I'll be out here getting these bitches. You know, I'm I always let you know, baby. I love you. Black is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> let me feel it. You ain't never had that dude walking the same, baby. You know mm, what I'm saying? I have. But oh walk, yeah, I walked away. <laughs> <laughs> that shit works on somebody because yeah, the niggas stay with Yeah, you see, Speedy got eight kids, so it absolutely worked on five uh, baby Paul, mamas. Just so you understand. Speedy didn't get eight kids by going, hey, miss, let me holler at you. That's not how you get eight how kids. How did you uh, get eight Paul, kids? Let me just Please let you know. explain. I, I am a very diverse young man, and I have the gift of gab. Oh, I, God, you're bitches, making me sick right bitches now. Bitches love me. They love me to drip on them. Ugh. You just said you. What the oh, fuck? Well, I didn't say you. I said niggas. <laughs> wow. Damn. Where to go with that? <laughs> All right, let's go to the segments now. Uh, <laughs> not me. Ain't that a bit? All right. It is now time for. Is that you? That's no. you. Can't be me. I turned my shit off. That was Speedy. It was Speedy with me. Of course it was. I was like, hold up. <laughs> I think he just wiped his nose like, I don't know who did it. TV Junkie. Right now. No, that wasn't it. It's Speedy Junkie. Give a 
shit today. Go ahead, Speedy. This nigga freestyling. Free in the house. TV junkies are in your home. And in your motherfucking mouth. <laughs> mouth, yo, mouth, yo, mouth. Motherfucker. <laughs> It's now time for TV Junkies. TV Junkies is where me and Pam go out. We don't go out. We stay at home and watch all the new shows that's out and help you decide which ones are really worth. Uh, a lot of people say that you do the spoiler, Speedy. Can you avoid doing that? What do you mean the spoiler? They, they say, say you, you tell what happened. Yeah, you spoil No, them. I never do that. Fuck them. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> TV Junkies, where we, you know, show. What show do you, shit are you recommending that people I watch? I am recommending, and it's the second season, The Royals on E. Um, it stars Elizabeth Hurley, and she plays the queen, and it's about the royals. It, well, it's like a version of the royals in England. And at first I was like, boo, this is whack, but then I actually caught it the first season, mm -hmm. and it's a, it's a lot of drug and it's use. called what again? The Royals on E. And it's a lot of drug use, and it's a lot of, uh, like, uh, fucking. It's a lot of everything in it. Whoa. It's so good. Life I can't believe good. it. I mean, Elizabeth Hurley, she's so hot anyway. Mm -hmm. So she plays the queen, and, um, you know, like, they... The queen won. is fucking? Oh, yeah. She's play, uh, play, uh, fucking around on the king, and it's crazy. And then the kids are all the jacked up. She? and She sound like empire. She, yeah, it is. It's like, <laughs> it's like a royal empire. It really is a royal With empire. With all white people? Yeah. Pretty much. With accent. It ain't no black folks in it. Wimpire. Royals. <laughs> Did you say Wimpire? Wimpire. <laughs> White Empire. So, yeah, that premieres November 14th. I mean, 15th. All right, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a chance to check out uh, Dr. Ken, which is Ken John, uh, the comedian. It's funny. Uh, I, I thought it was okay. Okay. Really? <sighs> he has jazz hands when he acts. Ah, uh, he does. He does. He has serious uh -huh. jazz hands. He uh -huh. does a lot of... Well, he never acting. really was. He really was. Well, the character that he played in the movies was more straight mm -hmm. and direct. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know Ken, so Ken's mm -hmm. a good oh, dude, did? a very shy guy, mm -hmm. uh, and he he's doing a show pretty much about his life. He he was a doctor, yeah, he's a gynecologist, mm -hmm. and and then he decided to do stand up comedy, and it's pretty much how that is. It's just swinging over to that. And the show is okay. And who else is in it? Uh, Key, uh, 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 Tisha Campbell uh, Martin. What does she play? It. Oh wow. She plays uh, like okay, secretary. So, that's fucked up. <laughs> no, he works at a hospital, so she's one of the nurses okay. at the front desk hospital. Okay. Secretary. Pretty. Oh, okay, we will go secretary. Where would you cast her? Like you got an Asian lead. We mm -hmm. need a black girl. She can't play his wife. She'd be too dominant. Yeah, she's so, a beast. But she do, she's a little bit dominant. Like her character, you you go right to her because it's Tisha. Yeah. yeah. But also, and that's one of the reasons I do watch because Tisha's on there. So check it out. Comes on Fridays at eight thirty. Okay. okay. On Fridays. Damn. Uh, it's good. It's okay. It, it, it's weird because you could tell they have white writers because the kids, like the little daughter, even though I think she's uh, Chinese or Japanese, she sounds, if you close your eyes, you swim down, she's white. Oh, okay. Her, her the, the demeanor, the, the lines they have her do, sounds like little white girls all over. Instead of giving her her own voice. Right. I just believe that when you have shows like this, let them have their own voice. Let it be natural. I don't want her to go, what's how you at La Eka I don't want to do that. Right. But she should have a voice that I think is is more suited for her, her uh, race. Right. Mm -hmm. Just That's just my thought. But I thought, I thought Are you talking good. about Dr. Kent? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought it was okay. I haven't seen it yet, but I love him. Me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's just, people, you got to get used to, again, to his jazz hands. He does a lot of movements with his hands when he's acting. What people don't know, he really was a doctor in real yeah. life. That's he's why. a gynecologist. Yeah, gynecologist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I remember him telling a joke about when you go see your gynecologist, ladies, uh, clean your shit up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> True and, that. And he's a stand up comic. Stand up isn't he? I've mm -hmm. been knowing him for the longest. And when he used to come to the uh, Laugh Act, he wasn't that funny. But he he was able to find his niche, which he can act. He can actually act. But doing comedy acting, you don't want to do jazz hands because it takes away everything he does. It's like he does. You'll see. But He's the show is cool. Uh, what's your second show? I may have talked about this, but it's another season of this uh, marriage boot camp reality stars. Um, it's uh, marriage boot. It's not the same as couples therapy, but but it is the same. It's kind of weird. But um, this one is um, they have. Uh, Sean and Catherine Lowe from The Bachelor. They have Benzino and Althea yeah. from Love and Hip Hop. Benzino Hip. seems to always stay on. And some you know kind she's preggers. She's you know, what? Preggers. Pregnant. What? Um, what you call a preggers? Preggers. And then they have Sunday. Like you ain't never heard that term. I know, right? Eight At least times. eight times. <laughs> Whoa. You <laughs> um, Sunday Carter and Cedric from Basketball Wise LA. And um, 
Sunday Carter is definitely a character. Who the fuck is she, Sunday Carter? She was on Basketball Wives LA. I mean, last season. She wasn't on this past season. But um, she had an affair with uh, Larry Hughes and had a kid by him while she was married. So, you know, they got some. Oh, Larry Hughes, so, the basketball player. Yeah, from the Knicks. And um, she has a criminal past. So I know they got some 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 stuff to work out. So I love those shows like Couples Therapy and Marriage Boot Camp. So I say watch that. And that. Um, when does it come on? Uh, I don't. It's, it hasn't come on yet, but it's. Uh, I think it's. I want to say Wednesdays. I want to say, right. and um, it's on. Uh, well, here's Queen. another. Uh, I have a second show. GTV. Hot show that definitely funny, and you should watch. It comes on the same time as Dr. Ken on Fridays. It's called Truth Be Told with my girl Brisha Webb, mm. uh, a brother by the name of Tone Bell, mm-hmm. and my uh, dude. Mark Paul, and how you say his, uh, how do we say his last name from uh, Say by the Bell. Oh, Gosler. Gosler, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's on there. It's a very, very, very funny show. Uh, Brisha, who I've been knowing for years, uh, Fox had cast to her for when he did uh, These Nuts, and she was in mm-hmm. that uh, sketch comedy thing. But the girl can act. She no, can really, act well. really funny. Very, very funny shows, two couples. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's kind of dynamic because you have uh, Brisha's character and Tone, they're married. And then... Uh, Mark's character and the young lady that's, that's in the show. She's, I think she's like uh, white and Korean or white mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because the baby's Korean. Right. Mm-hmm. And I guess mixed. So they have a lot of things. It's, f- it's super funny. It's on Fridays. The, uh, uh, they're a married couple, the other two? Yes. Okay. They're, both, they're both married, but they're all best friends. Awesome. So they pretty much all hang out together and there's things that happen. The first episode, which was last week, mm-hmm. was that he, uh, they needed a babysitter and they hired a really sexy babysitter who was uh, Filipino. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he was like, no, nah, we can't hire her because you might think I want to get with her because you're Filipino and whatever. But it was a pretty good show. Uh, I thought it was very funny. Most of these uh, sitcom shows, because they have the laugh tracks and they're not genuine, genuine, uh, genuinely uh, generally good laugh, mm-hmm. it's hard to get involved because you know a laugh track. It's like, <laughs> right, come right back down. So, But it was a good show. I think you should watch it. It's uh, Truth Be Told comes on. It's on NBC. And which means she's getting paid because yeah, that's exactly. a great network to be on. On Fridays, 8.30. So you, you basically can, you have to decide between Ken John and if you don't have a... Watch yeah. Truth Be Told. And then when you go to commercial for that, flip over flip to over. Dr. King. <laughs> <laughs> right. Give everybody a little something, something. All right, what show would you bring back? What TV show would you bring back? Curb Your Enthusiasm, starring Larry David. Mm. That was one of my favorites. Yes, Never I love that show. It. What? Because you don't have intellectual. Yeah, that was like he plays. I, I a, he played a version of himself, She's and like, um, they, it was imp- you know they improvised everything. <laughs> yeah, it was. And then script. they had um, what's his name from uh, JB Smooth. I love him and, on there. And Vivica, Wanda Sykes and Vivica Fox. Now one 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 episode I happened to watch. I don't know why it was, and it was very funny. I give him that, it but I just funny. couldn't get into it. The rest of them was uh, they had bought this. <laughs> they had bought a, a thing on TV, and they couldn't open it. But they were selling on TV. Oh, the scissors! He the scissors that yeah, opened right. this kind of package. Right. But when he got the scissors, it was in that package, and he couldn't get it open. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny as fuck. He's like, ah! And he was, so I'm looking like, oh, so he got the, from the same people. They sold him the scissors that you need to open the package, but they was in the same kind of package. Couldn't get it out. I Fucking like hilarious. when uh, J J B Smooth. Uh, I get on one episode, one of his other black friends wanted to meet Larry, and he was like. Larry done met his black friend quota. (laughs) 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 I loved it because it's, I I don't know, I like him. He just did, uh, he was just on Saturday Night Live doing Bernie Sanders. I I thought he missed. No, he killed it. it. No, when he he said said what Bernie says, but that was Larry David still. Yeah, but when he said, I don't have a come, I got a backpack. I don't even have a backpack. I just carry all my shit like a... uh, like a professor, uh, shit was fucking hilarious. Uh, but his claim to fame is uh, Seinfeld. Oh yeah, because he wrote mm-hmm. oh everything. Yeah. Seinfeld, that's mm-hmm. his. I, I mean, to, that's and, his baby. And that's and, his baby. and Seinfeld to me, I didn't watch it when it first came out because I was like I even watch it. There ain't no brothers on it, right? And then when I finally watched it, it's one of the funniest written shows I've ever seen in my fucking life. Yeah, I didn't know it was that funny. Yeah. I just you didn't, didn't know. know? No, and consistent. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, and it, yeah, and they kept whatever the whatever the joke was running joke was. They ran it all the way to the end, all the way through, mm-hmm. all not the way just the episodes. Sometimes yeah. across episodes. Yeah, and they would bring it back. They bring back the joke. I think one of the best ones I, I remember is when uh, Kramer was washing the uh, lettuce in the shower. He was, you know, you know oh, I saw that. And, they, yeah, and yeah, he, yeah. so he put the garbage disposal in the shower. So that when he washed the food, it just, man. So they were eating the salad. He's like, it tastes good. He said, yeah, I prepared it myself. And everybody kind of looked up. What do you mean? Well, you know, when I take a shower, I 
I washed all the food in the shower. Man, the motherfucker started. <laughs> <laughs> and then when uh, Newman fucked his mom, when, when. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, who fucked Newman's mom? Oh, um, Kramer. 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 Yeah, Kramer. Yeah, Kramer. Yeah, Man, yeah, I thought yeah. I was gonna lose my. That, and when the little nigga, when he fucked at his mom's house and he came out. And his dick was little, and he was like, "No, no, shrink it, shrink it." I just came out the shower, shrink it, shrink it. He's like, "No, that's you, player." No, that's oh, you mean in the thing? Yeah. Uh, so, so you like friends? I'll talk I mean, about him. Like Seinfeld. Seinfeld. So I, I like, I like my Seinfeld, man. I just couldn't like get into. I just, I just couldn't get into. I thought both were kind of a little dry, but really. Larry David yeah. too. Writing wise, I mean, uh, writing wise is like, no, this is throw. Like now that I'm, you know, I'm in the industry and, and able to appreciate it for that. But when I was just a voyeur, I was like, mm, these are dry as shit. Yeah. I like. I'm like, like, bring dry Martin humor back. like that. Me too. But I, I love shit like Martin. So, you know, the contrast of like how big Pootie the characters Tang. are. So. And see, there lies the problem. Pootie Tang? She liked yeah, Pootie Tang. I do. I thought it was funny. No. Nobody, you don't I even laugh. I like Pootie Tang. Hmm? You that shit laugh. had a funny no. ass soundtrack. <laughs> Pootie. Pootie. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> now, if so- anybody else agrees with me that they like Pootie Tang, hit us up in the chat room or call it. I can't be the only one. That- yeah, because yeah, I didn't like I it. They no. Only, they only no. sold one DVD. <laughs> no. <laughs> Two. Like, I, I bought, bought one. <laughs> 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 All right, the, the show I would bring back would be MASH. I love Ew, I uh, hated that. Hated so that's when I knew it was fuck? time to go to bed. Absolutely. I love MASH. Me too. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I did like that. And that little helicopter will be flying. <laughs> like, nigga, if I'm not in bed before the helicopter lands, I'm up too late. <laughs> but there was one episode when uh, they had a, because it wasn't too many brothers on the show at one time. So they had a brother, he came into the tent, it was a black dude in the bed. He said, Who's the jungle bunny? I went, oh. And oh. I was watching. Yes. Oh. And I went, oh, shit. <laughs> I wanted to be mad, but it was a rerun. So I'm going to get mad at some rerun. <laughs> it was yeah. legit? It was yeah. somebody literally holding oh, a rabbit God. from the jungle. Hilarious. It was a brother in in the cot. <laughs> Who's the jungle oh, bunny? Oh, said, Who's snap. the jungle bunny? That's what you was watching. Yeah. You liked a lot of white shows, Speedy. Yeah, I didn't like it. Well, MASH, because like she said, that, that was... Oh, yeah. yeah. I really Mash. hated it when I worked at FX, and that's all our program was MASH. That's, that, that's what they used to, you know, have before they got, uh, you know, Nip Tuck and everything. So I, I hated MASH with a passion. Oh, Nip Tuck. Oh, I wish they'd bring that shit back. I said that already. That was the first time we did God, it, but anyway. Dog, Nip Tuck was a beast. You ever watch it? Yeah. Nip Tuck was, was off the chain. I, I, I said, they remind me, uh, I will say, in which I already did that one, which was uh, uh, American Horror Store, mm-hmm. reminds me of Nick Tuck because they go there. Really? American Heart Story, don't give a fuck. You they said go Nick there. Tup, but okay. You did. <laughs> Nick Tup. You did say Nick Tup. <laughs> anyway, that's been uh, TV Junkies for Ready. Oh, no, I got one. Oh, okay, what's yours? Yeah, show? listen, but it's not, you guys are asking for shows to come back. I'll tell you the show I'm done with already. What? Done with? Empire, nigga, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm sick of this shit. For, this for several reasons, okay? For one, let's just, t- we'll t- on the shallow level, no, I'll do that next. On, on, on a deep level. Like, the writing is like, God damn it. You guys are turning into a soap opera. That's one. Mm-hmm. Too much shit going on. Yeah, Grow a character, is. will you? Yeah. It's, it it was dope okay. when Cookie was coming out and we were watching her turn into... Now it's like every episode, this bitch is free and she fucking with Boo Boo Kitty twerking and shit. I'm like, y'all running out of shit now. Mm. And it's, 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 Terrence was in jail for three days, nigga. Like, leave that nigga in there. Let him get shanked twice. I, I couldn't understand. How Luda Chris have... wasn't believable. Yeah. No. Chris Rock wasn't, believable. wasn't believable. believable. Nigga, yeah. Precious is has no business on that show. Every time yeah. I see her on there, I'm like, yeah, damn. <laughs> Who casted this bitch? Like, I love Precious and, and I thought, Precious, nigga. I thought, but... I thought Luda's character was a little bit, because he played that before. He He's plays played. it all. I, well, it looked like he never had. And the director should have been like, uh, nigga, you're going to have to harden up, bro, or something. He looks soft as shit. Yeah. Speaking of soft, did anybody watch the um, VH1 special yes. the other night with the, the coming hip-hop. out in hip hop? Yes, I watched it. I'm done. I can't it. do it. I mean, don't give me You wrong. can't come out? <laughs> <laughs> My thing, if you gay, it don't bother me. I could care less if you fucking gay. But God damn. Why does everybody got to be gay because you gay? How come you just can't be? I was telling Speedy in the car that uh, the the preacher that they had on, and he was said that he was against it, and that it was a sin. I mean, everybody jumped on him. I mean, he could not say shit against it. But then I, he made the point where he was like, "You guys want me to agree with you in your lifestyle, but when I say something that I don't agree, then I'm wrong." Yeah. And you guys can't you know, be wrong. Yeah, that's the only thing that, that I that. that I have an issue mm-hmm. with is that they bully you into to, their agenda, absolutely. and it's like. You should have the choice to live your lifestyle, and I should have the choice to agree or disagree mm-hmm. with it. I mean, as long as you're not hurting anybody, 
But it's just like, I don't like the bullying element and, of and, it. And I, I forgot my man's name at ESPN. They wanted him to apologize. He said, I'm not apologizing. Who, Don Lemons? No, no, ESPN. I mean, Don ESPN. Lemons. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, CNN. No, um, ESPN, light-skinned brother. Oh, you uh, talking about... Um, it's a light-skinned dude uh, that, that he came ESPN. out. ESPN. Didn't he pass away? No, he no, didn't no, come he... out. He just said, he, if you're gay, it's against God. And then... ESPN said, well, we may have to put you on time out. Well, when it comes to, to stuff like that, I don't agree with that talk. But but no, no, what he was I, saying is just what you said. He said, I, you can't bully me bully me on how I feel. Right. That's just how I feel, it's when, and I'm not going to retract I, it. I do have a problem with people who use the Bible and say it, it's but that's, an abomination. But that's, but that's but, his basis, though. But for you to disagree with it, that's your choice. Mm-hmm. But to bash gays and to... No, we don't, ba- I don't bash them. Things like that, I don't I agree with. Maybe. But don't um, look at me or ban me or, yeah. or criticize me because I don't a- appreciate, you know, same-sex marriage or whatever. Mm-hmm. Which, to me, I don't have a problem with same-sex yeah. marriage. You I'm just to- saying... But people who don't d- agree with it nowadays, they're you penalized. Get, yeah, you, you will get... Yeah. Here's the question I have about it is this, like, is our, is our world gayer right now than it's ever been, yeah, or much. has it been this gay the whole time and everybody was just being quiet? Yeah, that's what yeah. I think. Chris Isn't Bruce. that wild to think, like, in the 80s, it was just this gay, just yeah, nobody was. was telling you. Look at Soul Train. Look at the old Soul Train. Oh, yeah. And then you look at it now, you go, oh, it's just more thing. acceptable, and I think yeah. more people are coming out because mm-hmm. of that. Mm. They're talking so, about so what happened on there? It was Chris Bru- uh, Broussard? Broussard. Broussard, yeah. Yeah, Chris Broussard. And he stood up for, like you said, he was like, yo, well, you, I'm not going to apologize because that's how I feel, so y'all can kick me off the air if you want. And then they didn't kick him off because he was just like, hey, you're not going to make me change my mind just because I said I don't like it. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I'm with that. What happened on the show? Did they? What show? <laughs> the shit you were just talking about. The Love and Hip Hop show. Oh, they they Coming had out. well one of the rappers on the show <laughs> came out. Yeah, he, he to his girlfriend, he was gay. a gay rapper. Yeah, yeah, and well, he ain't really made. But it, it was it. a trip because everybody's like, I knew it. Like, like the whole, you know, everybody around him except like, I knew it. No, you know? when the grandma the said, the grandma said, right, I knew it, baby. Yeah, her grandmother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's, who was the gay rapper? Miles and what's the other one's name? Uh, Amani, no, uh, some old gay name. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> it is. Bron St. Mills. What's the Mills. what's the gay rapper that came out? Some gay nigga name. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, with a gay mouth. He just yeah, got a gay he mouth. Got a gay mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is a gay mouth. I swear, like? I think I've that seen dude, the guy. That dude. He has a gay mouth. Yes, pull him up. Pull him up. Okay. So, so, so just walk around. Ooh. <laughs> so what happened Ooh. was. The whole time on the show. <laughs> now, I didn't know. No, Ray J was on there. Yeah, Ray J. And, yeah, Ray J. and, and uh, he was like, some of the biggest uh, players in hip hop are gay. Yeah, but I ain't like, going to mention no names. Right. How you know? Shut up, man. This nigga <laughs> might he, be right, man. I've been seeing some shit over the years come out about different dudes in the studio and shit like that. I'm like, I don't oh. give a fuck. It's just that this dude was hilarious to me because he was just like, I just want to. So when he finally told his sisters, and he was like, I'm sorry. And he started crying like a girl. I said, are you that hard? Are you supposed to be that hard? And nigga, his nigga grabbed both his eyes. Oh, so <laughs> yeah. He put palms to his you face. Should, you should never, your palms as a dude should never touch your face together. No. Unless you're sweating, you're getting it all, you got to go here. No, right. I, well, that's one thing I feel bad about. I, I hate that we live in a world where people can't be free to be themselves. Like how he was afraid all these years to come out to your family. That that I can imagine because his is family, something. Well, I don't. Okay, so you, you're saying as a society, we should be able to, if, if somebody's gay, just say you're gay. You're come right. Yeah, but, but now it's so acceptable, there shouldn't be no reason for a lot of people to be in the closet. Because now... If you're in entertainment, even sports now, it's it's acceptable. <laughs> no, uh, sports that nigga ain't playing. Take a minute. That nigga ain't playing. Mm, then they're closeted. He should have never kissed yeah, that. Yeah, they're going to stay He should have never kissed that boy when he got drafted. Yeah, so you think that waited. ruined nigga, his com- your money career? The minute you tongue kissed that nigga on national... Oh, yeah, you could have gave him a hug. Say, oh, dap. Get that nigga some dap. Nigga, right, we in. Right. The problem is he didn't know the process. That nigga's like, nigga, I'm in. The, I'm in. No. <laughs> yeah. No, nigga, you got no, shows and you still got to earn your stripes, nigga. He tongue kissed that way. The shit out of him. He did. And they, they kept the camera right there. And shit. Oh, yeah. they stayed on it. They stayed. Which, to me... It, it, you know, the camera was like, yo, when, when they call your name... Now, that's the only thing about Empire. I get it. The dude is gay. I get it. 
But why does it always have to swing that way? Every I feel time, like every time the camera get to him, and his, his it's dude. always get, listen. When you watch footage of this thing on TMZ or like other shit Jesse Smollett be doing, he's not that gay. Like he's gay. Oh, he is. But gay? he's not. Yeah, he's gay in real life. Oh, but okay. you just well, he's just like walking. So this ain't no stretch. No, but on the show, it's like man, they're gaying him up. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you're a black man cast on the show, just be you because you're black. You don't have to then be like, nigga, I told him, motherfucker. Like, now you the WB Sad frog. Bitch. You ain't yeah, the WB. WB. Like, you don't got a cone. That's them. Just be who you are. Yeah, them niggas gay. But uh, <laughs> I've just seen the gay couple from Love and Hip Hop. Yeah. Who's it? Which one has the gay mouth? The one, the light skin one. Oh, my God, a gay mouth. Yes. That's crazy. Now, but, where do you have Fuji? I just feel like the oh, show yeah, the is The dark there. skin one would have. See, Who, he the food the dark Yeah, the dark skin one. That one would, Miles, he, I think that's he's Miles. He's flamboyant. Yeah. yeah, he wouldn't have uh, fooled me, but that Wait, light what's, skin one What's his boyfriend's name? Uh, did Miles. He her? No, no it's Miles and... Um, Amani. Some, Amani. Uh, is it... I think it's Imani. Milan. 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 Milan, Milan and Milan. That is a gay ass name. You're <laughs> Thank right. Thank you. Thank you. She was Milan. like, he got some gay okay. ass Okay. Yeah. Right. I do. As soon as you came in, this is my friend Milan. Uh, he was named after right. a Disney princess. <laughs> <laughs> his parents <laughs> fucked him up. All you had to do was give him a name like Dre. He would have had a shot. <laughs> he was trying to figure out who he is his whole life. That's something we never That's talk probably about. not even his born name. Every but, time they call Roland class, the teacher looked at the Asian girl like Milan. This nigga sitting by her like, that's me. <laughs> I think to when you give boys names that I think that's part of if that's, his, if that's his real name Milan he got Tevin Campbell that's Tevin. not Tevin Tevin's not gay I didn't say he wasn't gay the, but the I don't think is, Tevin is a um, what the fuck it's, it's like Kevin with try, a T try, try to pronounce it okay you try to pronounce Tevin Manly go right in Tevin can't do it <laughs> there you go now how gay was that that was not gay that you're gay real gay you're he said gay. Tevin <laughs> no he put a bass tone at the bottom of it and said Tevin. Right. Tevin. You want Tevin to be. But you, who you are and what your name and what you're called by everybody helps you identify with who you are. That's psychological. Milan, proof. yeah, Milan is the rap. I don't think he was born with that name. What's his real name? Pull it up. What's Milan such his real name? name? I don't know, but I. Uh, real name is Rush Card. <laughs> <laughs> I think his name is Milan. I do. Hey. I don't know. I don't know whether to think there is a conspiracy with all these young gay black boys coming out and plus, you know, having it on television so prevalently. I, I don't know if that's some people might think it's I, I do think that uh, there are hormones in the food that affect a lot of the way that and it sounds crazy, but I don't think it's far fetched. His daddy wasn't in his life. I think what you watch and what you put in your front of you ends up being a part of your spirit, and you end up having to deal with what you just saw and went through. Mm. If you grow up around a lot well, of violence, but you end they up being say too, prone. if you were, um, you know, sexually exposed at a young age, whatever that first experience was, is and what you. Was with, yeah. And I believe what that. you normally now, go with. That's why I think as parents. You have to. My dad wouldn't let us spend the night at nobody else. I don't know why now. Probably know why. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't spend the night. He's like, no, get your ass in the car. But dad, get your ass in the car. So I think as parents, even though some parents, I need a night off. And then some happen at so-and-so house or some dude come by. No, a lot of these the coaches, these single moms with these boys, yeah, they relying the on these go men there. to, mm -hmm. to take care dads. of it. Yeah. Be dads. But as a parent, again, you have to be hands-on till your kid get to the age where they can understand who they're going to be. They say, my kids, I'm going to be wherever they're going, I'm going. They can't spend the night, none of that shit. Because mm. you don't know yeah. how anybody else was, was raised. And you don't know who they have in those surroundings unless you're there. I'm with you. If I had kids, they would not be spending. No, you ain't no spending. Even though we did it, I did it. Yeah. My kids are gonna I be social. Right. They're gonna be, they're gonna be sure of themselves and identify with who they are already. Where they can stay the night somewhere. These are hypothetical children. <laughs> That's why I can what talk you, the way I'm talking. I was able on? to stay the night different places, but my parents told me, like, nigga, this is who you are. This is what you are. This is the lineage you come from. You're Jackson. Don't be none, with none of that bullshit. And I'm I, that what I am. I walk over to somebody else. They could be on the fuck shit. I'm like, nigga, that's not me. Yeah. So I'm calling and home. I just had, right. I had that. Right. Come get me. I've been having that talk with Brooklyn about, I say, if your friends, I say, what if a real pretty girl offer you something some weed. Like, you didn't have a talk that talk with all your kids. Yeah, I did. It, it's right. always Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah, that's his favorite. Because yeah. that's who's left, and then Maya's next, mm -hmm. and then Madison. But mm -hmm. they're Maya's ten. You have stuff kids. So you told Brooklyn what now? <laughs> <laughs> Poet has got a loaded revolver over there. <laughs> no, it's with just... speedy bullets. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't missed a chance. <laughs> you thinking again, nigga? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to talk to 
What's that up? was a nice save, Nate. Go ahead. <laughs> it, it was. It's not just Brooklyn. It's all. Uh, but my daughters are not at that age yet, where they need. Yes, to have. they are. Maya's. Both of them are. Madison six. Still. That's a little early. A little, uh, to no, the weed? you need to talk no, about, but nah, not no, about weed, but about strangers oh, and yeah. touching yeah, no, and all had, that. that. conversation at six yeah. and even earlier, but what he said he was talking about was, what would you do if a really pretty girl offered you weed? Yeah. A six-year-old was like, that's weed. Like, yeah. that's not. So at, at 11, because that's the other thing, too, most guys get caught up because some girl said, ooh, let's do this. Yeah. And the next thing you know, this nigga doing heroin. Right. So, so. It could be the pretty girl who you, who you don't see coming or your best friend who you don't see exactly. coming that That's they need to me. know that it, even if it's the pretty girl that says, won't you do this? No, don't be a follower. Be a leader. Say, no, nah, I'm good. How about you don't do that and follow me? That happened right. to me and Alex. Really? Mm-hmm. When like, I, yeah, that's exactly what happened. She's the day Alexander O'Neill. So what, that's what happened. Before the he, dental. Was yeah, before. Coming. Yeah, so, you know, but you're right. I had my parents had that talk about me uh, with me mm-hmm. about following or, you know. Because some people go, well, don't take it from a stranger. It ain't always going to be a stranger. No, it's, it's not. Gonna be it's going to be somebody that the kids no, nine know. Nine times out of ten is somebody they know. And yeah, then when absolutely. it's somebody they know, they go, oh, it must be okay because my mom or dad never mm-hmm. said nothing about this person or that person. So you have to say it about Everybody. The poet is walking here with the weed. Don't you take shit from poet. <laughs> what a good weed smoking animal. I wouldn't offer kids weed. You would offer. I don't even, I don't feel comfortable even if you smoking date, with my nephew and he's grown. If you dated a guy that didn't smoke, would you ask him to smoke it? Or he should, would you go? No, I don't push it on people. Because <laughs> okay. you know someone would be like, oh, you're a soft ass nephew. And if he doesn't smoke, I don't, I won't smoke around him. All right. We got some more shit. You got yeah. your stories ready, bro? My stories? <laughs> no, we're doing some entertainment news. Let's have get this in a minute. Oh, do you have an entertainment? I got a story no. for your ass. Hit one. Oh, you had a good one about the Back to the Future. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Back to the Future Day. So in the movies, when they set the time to go to in the future, mm-hmm. they went to October 21st, 2015. Today. Oh, they did? Before you do that, happy birthday to Snoop Dogg. His birthday was yesterday. Go ahead. Yeah, Snoop. That's it. <laughs> that was the whole thing, but I mean, if you if you think about it, like when you when they when went the to 2015, was it, was it shit? That means 80. 22 years ago. I don't know. It was 20 years, something like that. But when but when they came to today's date in the movie, it was so much futuristic shit going on. Cars were flying. My was on hoverboards. Hilarious. They were they were taking little sugar packet sized things, putting in the microwave, and it was a full meal and shit. Now the closest to that, they do have the hoverboard just came out. They got the board with the two wheels everybody's gliding around on. That on yeah. That's not hovering, nigga. No, not that, but they actually have a hoverboard. Pull it up on your phone. It just dropped. I saw a video for one hoverboard yeah. in San Francisco that they made, and they're trying to get... That's what the one I'm talking about. There's only one, though. That's the one I'm talking about. Nigga, when, when they came to today in the movie, Hilarious. the postman was hovering to mailbox to mailbox. <laughs> Niggas was hover fucking from the back. Just bitches was hovering, they was hovering. They was hovering, nigga. Well, the closest thing we got to that, like you said, it's called, I think it's called a boogie... Or, or nah, these damn segways with segways? no handles. Yeah, those segway. are crazy. I got one of those. You got one? My daughter wants one. Get her one. Uh, bitch, it's 500 No, it's not. They like 200 now. Where? Uh, g- Google it. Noogle it, nigga. I will now. Yeah. <laughs> Noogle it and get it straight she from China. She wants one for her birthday. Yeah, get it straight from China. Get you a used one. I'm somebody just scared bought somebody it brand go. new and busted their ass like, nigga, fuck this. And <laughs> took it back. Go get that one. I'm just scared somebody will push her off of it and take it. That's There's potential for that. But... At the end of the day, she's gonna be she's gonna be tough. So that's the closest thing we have to what, what was like happening that. in that yeah, movie. Yeah, that's the bullshit. We supposed to be teleporting and shit. Yeah, if you look back, at even when when uh, Prince did 1999, mm-hmm. they said by the time you get to what this was known as the Buck Roger date, uh, we should be. And it's pretty much the same. Which means even 20 years from now, will it be different? Not unless they start investing in our applied sciences and stuff like that again. In our Depends, way. like. When we when you run a country, you have to invest in your scientists. Like nigga, we was going to the moon and shit. Like we were on the pace to do some miraculous they shit. They stopped all that shit. Yeah. Now we watch the a movie Republican called The Martian, nigga. The re- yeah, the Republicans <laughs> stopped. Yeah, they're like, now let's tell you what, we ain't gonna do no more technological yeah. investments. We going to war with yeah. these niggas. You might be able to go to a star, nigga, but don't you stay here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Meanwhile, white people, if they if they find a star, it's to move away from us. <laughs> <laughs> they're like these niggas and tow up Earth. We moving to Earth. Babylon 3. What story do you have, uh, Pope? Well, if you're a Janet Jackson fan and went to her concert and videotaped her on Instagram, Instagram will shut you all you the way what? down. They will block your account and leave it to where you cannot 
post. log on to Instagram, they'll erase all your stuff. <gasps> but they're trying to. What did, um, what did Janet do? She sh- she shutting shit down. She got I that everybody, thing going on. I thought everybody just take a video and put it up. Yeah, on. yeah, but well, uh, somehow her too. people shut it down. If there's Janet Jackson uh, concert footage on your Instagram, they've been shutting down mm. accounts. But now they're trying to make it to repeat offenders that do it. Mm. Mm. So, but you're out in public. I mean, I you're not. That. Is there a warning? Like, selling? don't Instagram us. Well, mm. back in the day, remember you couldn't take no um, recording devices into concerts. And Sometimes now, you can't. Yeah. You can't to Kevin Hart. They are all nigga. There's like 400 people in the aisles just lighting niggas up. Yeah, and you have to leave. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. In the first minute Kevin of the show Hart or the and... last minute, if your phone is out, like they see you light up, they over there spinning a flashlight, and three, four big niggas come get That's you. True. Hey, hey. Come on. And you got to go. It's like that with Prince. It's always That's been like that. That's 90% of Joy Well set is don't act like this when you get your phone tapped. Don't act like this when they tap you. Asians don't. Black people don't. Like, it's I a good set. I have Kevin Hart show. That's why. Well, you need to I go to think one. I, I, I saw that. Um, mm-hmm. I was at the uh, comedy store, I think, the last time Kevin was there. Mm-hmm. And they were like, there's a few comics that do that, though. Mm-hmm. I never got caught up in it. I mean, what's it gonna do? I mean, what what's the problem with it? Are they gonna sell um, it or? Well, what? I'll tell you right now. Mike Epps has a um, Mike Epps has a video on YouTube. It's like fifty two minutes long. It's one of his headline sets where he's doing new shit and old shit mixed together from the. Uh, you just put in Mike Epps. It's like it's a full set, and somebody mm-hmm. literally just leaned their camera on a cup, and filmed the whole thing straight up from like the front row. This shit got like thirty five thousand views on mm. YouTube. Mm. So then when he goes and he drops his paid special, his jokes are stepped on. Oh, okay. People are like, nigga, we already seen this on YouTube. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was upside down. Yeah. You want as a comic, you're coming with your thought. You want that shit to, to literally be popping people's cherries when they hear it. Mm. Yeah. It's cool to work the same crowd and, and you know, like you got regulars and shit, but at the end of the day, when when we hit a, hit the road nationally, every single crowd is a brand new experience for them. All of your old shit is brand new to them, and yeah. that's what you want. Yeah. And once you feel like they've consumed all your material, it's time to make a new special. So social now, media with has Janet, jacked y'all uh, up pretty much. I heard the concert oh, yeah. was really good, though. I heard Janet rip. Oh, concert. she has. She's one of the she's best really live performers. She doesn't dress sexy. Well, it's sexy in a different way. She, you're not gonna see no skin. She's all covered up. She's Muslim now. We yeah. already seen it. Oh, she is? She pulled that titty yeah, out. Yeah, she's of married to a Muslim. Mm-hmm. So she's definitely covered up. I mean, it's you just got the eyes showing. It was sort of form <laughs> fitting, but. Oh, you see his eyes going back and forth. You said she's Muslim now. Yeah. So, well, she's married to one of serious, or like really? a real. I thought, Janet, I thought Janet he was like a sheik. Middle East. I thought Arab. he was like a sheik or what are they called? A sheik or sheiky? A shake? A, a shake? A sheik? A shake. Janet X. <laughs> no, she's not a nation of Islam. <laughs> no, the other ones, the ones that every day pray. Yeah. Oh, got you. Long live Allah. Yeah, I think her. East. I think yeah. she got one oh. straight from the Middle East. I had to figure out which one. I thought there was a get your hand out my pocket. Those was one. No. no. She got the motherfucker with the backpack. Okay. She's, yeah, <laughs> she with yeah. Tick Tick Boom. Whose uh, backpack is this? Tick Tick Boom. That's Janet's. <laughs> <laughs> to blow this bitch up. I'm the bomb. What yeah, else? So. What else you got, man? You got another one? Please. Um, Master P's ex-wife is suing Romeo. Her son? What? Yeah, because uh, allegedly Master P has put all of the, you know, started a record label and all this stuff and put it in Romeo's name. Oh. Ah, genius. That's when the government come for you. That's, that's old shit. That's, that's, old that's, that's the first form of put bankruptcy. Put it in the baby's name. Yeah, yeah, put it in the baby's me. name. Yeah, plus that might not even be Romeo's mama. It just said his ex-wife. Um, that's Romeo's mama. Oh, okay. I mean, um, I think Master P has been with her from the beginning, and they got like what thirteen kids. Yeah, so. she was living with him at one point. Yeah, he was taking care of her. Mm. So how sh- how can you sue your son? Do you know you can sue. You can he has thirteen kids can. by the same woman. No, I don't know if it's thirteen, but they got several kids. By the okay. same woman. But yeah. how do you sue your son? How how can you do that? I, what are you saying? He got my money. He's suing. She's suing the. I guess the assets um, that are in his Didn't name. Didn't he go to college? That nigga went to college. Yeah, that nigga went to ICU. ICU. UCI. DC. ICDC. ICU. DCE. No, I think he went to USC and then he did that commercial. He played basketball at USC. Yeah, because him and um, was it him and Snoop's son hanging out? No. No, no. No, that's because Snoop's son went to UCLA. He wanted. Mm-hmm. And it's too they said the TMZ reports that Romeo is being dragged into the situation as Sonia alleges that Master P has been using his um, 26-year-old son to hide assets from her 
to make it look like he's worth less than he actually is. The site notes that former couple founded No Limit Records together in the 90s. And according to Sonia, although Master P and Romeo founded No Limit forever in 2010, it's basically the same record company. Pretty much. So, yeah. Well, she can say what she wants. If that paperwork is done right, it's a wrap. But they don't have any more artists signed to them no more. Doesn't right? matter. If he signed Romeo to, to No Limit forever and paid him everything he got, Romeo is the owner of all that shit he got. She can't sue him over what he used to have. Mm. She's going to be in court having a hard-ass time. She should have been raising hell since 2010, not now. <laughs> yeah, it's 2010. Yeah, like, they, they, they've too. been going through something messy, I think, for a while now. So, And, and shout-out to, uh, I, I heard as well in the news about uh, Snoop Son and how the reason why he stopped playing football because he wanted his atten- more attention from his dad, and he thought playing football would get him that attention. So he he put that out yesterday, and, and and to parents out there who are pushing your kids, like I push, I talk about Brooklyn, but I don't push him to play basketball. I told him you ain't got to play, you play if you want to, because I'm not gonna be pushing you. And then we work all this shit, and then you decide to quit before you get drafted, and I have a problem yeah, with that. Well, I felt bad when I watched that um, ESPN special, and um, he had a problem because Snoop he says that Snoop never told him that. He loved, loved him. Yeah, and I tell my son all the I time. I tell all my kids believe. that all the time. Yeah. So, Especially with girls, you have to do that. So I don't think that that's the case, man. As much as Snoop be talking about nephew this, nephew that, I love you, nephew, thank right. you, love you. Nephew, like, I... you want to your own seed, you ain't going to spread that same love? Maybe he wanted a different version of it. Of course yeah, he did. He didn't want the... Well, we don't know if, what if goes on everybody... in people's personal lives. Mm-hmm. I mean, it could be like that. We, we don't know. This is the thing. Know? I think that the child has taken the love for granted because he's seen that same love spread to people who weren't in his family. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. If you're around a whole bunch of other dudes, your dad's calling nephew and I love you and this and that. So when you say it to you, you like, I need, I, show me. So how? Show me. Right. But I, I, I think you as know, a parent, too, because we want, doors. I, think, I think, too, the other part of that, and I was telling Pam in the car, is that when you rich like that, to play football it has to be, you have to want that. Football yeah. is different than any other sport. Them niggas that play football, some of them are a little crazy, or they have a reason why I'm playing because my mama needs this and my daddy. But if you got it all, football not that important. You got to be hungry. Basketball, Plus, you can just play. Okay, I can play that and be rich. I think Snoop will be just as proud when he becomes oh, yeah. a successful filmmaker. Yeah, but I, I think Snoop will be proud if the nigga is a bum. He's going to be proud of his son no matter well, what. Well, his oldest son is... You know, a lot like Snoop. He smokes weed and <laughs> has oh, <really>? locks. <laughs> but I, I think as parents, you do have to pull your kids to the side and tell them you love them. Even when it ain't even time to say it. Just say, you know, I love you, right? Or I'm very proud of you. I'm happy. I, my, my daughter, I call her. I, send her. I text her every day something inspirational. Oh, that's sweet. And, and, and mama do the same. Because you have, with daughters, you have to do that. Because the first nigga to come along... Mm-hmm. Nigga, here, come along and say, baby, you know, I love you. They be like, oh, nobody's ever told me that. Now they're in trouble. Well, you know what? Some parents are not affected. Like my dad, growing up, he was not affectionate toward me and my sister. I'll well, just say well, that. He dropped the ball. Yeah, but I don't, you know, I don't hold that against them. Mm-hmm. I just feel like parents are people, too. They have their own way. Of, I mean, growing up and being mature and being able to right. think you, like I that. I feel like parents should be affectionate with their kids. So when later in life they experience some sort of affection, they don't it ain't brand receive new. it weird and fucked up. Absolutely. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like this one but I always knew my dad loved me. I never thought he didn't love he me. He just you. wasn't all, you know, he hug, kiss you huggable. On the cheek. Mm, no, not really. Wow. You want me to come kiss you on the cheek? Homecoming night, like you was all in your little dress and you gave your dad the <laughs> hug. And I didn't, he didn't, he didn't live cheek. in a house like that. When you got married and you had your father, I daughter, never dad. Been married. All right, the first time you fucked, did he, did he say good looking out? Nigga, on um, Father's Day? I mean, I hug and kiss my dad, but he doesn't, you know, he... I, that ain't who he is. Right. It's like, not. my dad was the same way. My dad, the only time... I can tell your dad was the, only time the stories talk, you tell. The only time he ever talked to me, and I thought he was proud of me when, when I graduated, because he said, this nigga ain't gonna never graduate. He's dumb as a motherfucker. <laughs> and I, and Damn. I graduated, Damn. he came in the room, he said, now you, you get out of school now. What you gonna do? That was it. Nah, nigga, that was. That See, was you good. needed some affection too. Yeah, I need some. Yeah. Come you done had eight kids looking for some love. Who <laughs> <laughs> well, you, nigga? Uh, Doctor uh, Welby? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you got to love your kids, man. Let no, your kids know you love them. Lift them up. You.
Yeah. And, and and but I am very proud. I mean, I'm proud, but I, I'm glad that Snoop and his son they cool. Yeah, yeah. And I was telling that story because Snoop said, "No, I love my son, whether he to play ball or not. I love him, but I think football because he was good. Yeah, right? Cardell was nice. He definitely was nice. But football, like I said, is a different sport. And if you already got money and some niggas hitting you mm-hmm. all day, grown ass yeah. man is knocking your motherfucking block off. Yeah, then you go, nigga, I really don't. I can go make. And that's what happened in high school. This nigga was nice. Got hit yeah. probably twice in a four year career. Once you, you get, get to practice, LA, everybody your speed, nigga. Now what is it about? Right. And we've been here three years lifting. You a freshman, you gonna walk on you ain't gonna red shirt, nigga, and your daddy Snoop? Yeah. Well, Snoop's football league has also produced a couple of pro yeah. players. Really? So. Oh, shitload but of them. They were yeah. all hungry. Need my mama need this. Right. And I'm, this one I'm gonna go through. Like I said, football to me, you can't push kids into football. They either go they either play it or they don't. Right. Now the other sports you can go go on, get the basketball, they can shoot around and oh, I like this. But Football's not that sport. Well, I certainly believe that you should know what your kid's passion is and yeah. and, and develop that mm-hmm. because yeah. that, there's what, a lot of smart kids mm-hmm. um, that have so much energy and just and they end up doing bad shit because they're not guided yeah. properly. They don't that energy is not guided to an interest of theirs. And I think as thing. men, yeah. as black men, and and I, and I, I hate when uh, we have our celebrities who are not. Even if you're not from that community, if you live in the area, like Jalen Rose has his own school in Detroit where he's helping kids get into college. Uh, 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 LeBron James is doing the same thing in Ohio where he's paying for kids to go to college. Right. I think and when you have that kind of money. Almost knocked the coach out with a kettlebell. Yeah, so <laughs> when you have that kind of money, something. you have. I think you should, you're obligated to go reach back and make sure because wasn't there somebody here that said that <coughs> to have your kids should be in uh, – to, to make sure your kids take engineering because, you know. Oh, yeah. Who says? Somebody said who right here, here and said And that. how that was going to be the next wave mm-hmm. where, where kids can, where you'll be able to be a make millionaire. Money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And especially with all these uh, computer this, that, and the other, you should push your kids into science. Like right. But going back to the love thing, I've noticed like a lot of my female friends, they think love is supposed to hurt um, because they didn't have that parental figure telling them they mm-hmm. love them or whatever they don't know they don't know that love is not supposed to hurt you no. and they when it does tell anything. somebody yeah you know what i mean and i, I, I talked to some of my Man. friends and i'm like no i don't think it's I, I my mom and daddy are still together and you know what i'm saying i got told i loved you many a times but um when i talk to my friends it's just like damn you really think that that's how love is supposed to feel? They think that they, their version of healthy love is not right. It's, it's hurtful. Yep. Yeah, I'm like, wow. But but then, too, part of that is, too, people got to live their lives. They're going to live it the way they want to. As much as I try to help my stepson mm-hmm. out, and I'm, I mean, bruh, I'm like, my man, if you do this, and it, bro, this could happen for you. He don't want to hear that. He'll hear it. And still do some stupid shit. Yeah, but you you have to say it. Yeah, and that's why I told him. And the mom. thing is, like, I, said, that I must shit keep is saying it. I hate, I hate saying it because I feel like I'm just throwing this shit against the wall. You're not. It's some of that shit sticking. It's just when is he gonna take it off the wall and apply it to his life? And it will. Maybe and he may later. be a late bloomer, but your voice yeah. is always gonna be with him. It'll always be in the back of his mind. Yeah, because there's some things that stuck with me throughout mm-hmm. my childhood. That, oh, okay. Absolutely. Yeah. When I'm out fucking, when I was out fucking what? up in my teens. Fuck fuck it. It. Okay, when I was out fucking at night I in the alleys, my shit. kid said, don't let the dick go all the way in. I knew that. <laughs> no, I said fucking up in my teens. Oh, the up wasn't in there. But the, the church and everything that, it, it, it always pulled me through. Okay. The things that my parents told me. It always got me out of the bad situations. So. We hear our village. Uh, <laughs> this just in. What? Chloe oh, good. <laughs> and Lamar have called off their doors. Isn't that something? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So you gonna let him back in the house, back on the TV show? Yeah. Oh wow. That's what know, they I, don't. I hope mean. he don't go jumping back onto the show. That's the last thing. You yeah, need that's the. Is that's to what he don't. Yeah. All of this. He'll do but that. he would He'll do before it. this do uh, incident for. happened. He was on a TMZ video, just really fed up with all of that. Mm-hmm. So hopefully he's not. But well, let's he, put it this way: if it does happen, life. if it does happen. That's because the mama and them did that mm-hmm. to get them ratings. But mm-hmm. isn't she mm-hmm. dating somebody? She was dating uh, the one from uh, Houston. Uh, Harden. What the fuck yeah, that James mean? Harden. Wasn't he James just? Harden he was hitting? Dropped. Yeah, he was hitting that for, they was like booed up. Who gives a fuck? They were, uh, they were getting divorced. All bets were off. It was a, everybody do whatever the fuck you wanted. This nigga got caught at the Bunny Ranch. <laughs> True that, but what we're saying that he got her. dumped. He got dumped like big time. 
Yeah, and then he went and smashed some prostitutes. She wouldn't smash some NBA niggas. Why would James Harden hit that? that, Now, I'm sorry. I'm old school. Is that the nigga with the beard? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm old school. I don't get it. I'm not saying they boys. They may not have never been boys. But let's just say they kind of knew each other because they played in the league. Yeah, they knew of each other. Why would you want to fuck his girl? Why would you want to fuck that? They all awesome. well. That is that's not as bad. Like they're far apart, different cities, all that shit. That shit with Matt Barnes and Derek Fisher. Yeah, nigga, that's they personal as shit. Team. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd have, I'd have took shit out of Fisher, man, because you knew her and you and my son called you uncle. So I'd have. I'd have and they have both of them have the only thing. In, aren't they having a real relationship? Fish is really like, and this was his life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing in that thing that makes me say, well, maybe it's okay. Because if they think it's real love and they want to give it a shot, fuck it. This so, just James Harden just smashing so, your bitch so, on the so slide. So you believe when uh, when Jermaine Jackson married his brother's wife, that's real love. Was his brother completely done with the woman? Doesn't matter. They got. Did kids. they have real? So now they got uncle cousins, uh, uncle cousin uncle brothers, daddy. uncle daddy, and uh, the the kids. But They're cousin know, brothers. You can't cousin you can't, brother exactly. cousins. If we're gonna talk about a topic and then we're gonna look for a, a moral barometer to then say this is normal and to use it as a t- you can't use the Jacksons, nigga. Everything that <laughs> happened in that True family that. was wild True as that. shit. These niggas had pet rats and shit, and <laughs> nigga Janet is a Muslim now. Like shit is weird over there, nigga. <laughs> But, well, yeah, I do know situations where a friend dated another friend's ex, and they live phenomenally. A lot you, of times friends— I don't think that's cool. Because there's too many bitches, too many women out here, <laughs> too many beautiful black sisters out here that you can, that you can be with. Why, do you, be why do you want? In other words, why do you want his girl? Yeah, why you but want I'm girl? saying, like, let's say how much time has passed, how tight were they, how, where— they There's were a lot of different team. things. They were on the same team. Sorry. That's talking me in a motherfucking thing. I'm t- we're talking about— what? Russell, Russell Wilson and Marshawn Lynch on the same team. They might have you know? hated each other. What, was she here? He hit uh, Sierra? Huh? Marshawn? <laughs> you saying them? No, I'm Russell saying, like, there's people who play on the same team that are like, nigga, this is my job and that's my co-worker versus these are my niggas. Like, everybody's oh, not I like you. I got you. Okay. the fucking Michigan Jalen Rose squad. Like, everybody ain't tight like that. Okay. okay. Just, we just coming to work, man. But I believe that Matt and Derek probably were. Oh yeah, I do. I think they yeah, were. That's why I said I think the that's the son called. He said, "Uncle Derek, Derek is, is here. here." Yeah, that's nuts. That's different. You shoot your ass. In the He's face. that close. So, so the, you wouldn't date no. any of your boys' no. exes. Cause, period. No. Cause, what if she was just a side chick or something? Mm-mm. That's where I think it's, it's okay. It's that's too what I'm many women in mm. this world. Why do I want that one? But I'm not saying like because you connect differently with people. No. Why would I want that one? This, if this nigga don't want it, why would I want it? Even if it's just, let me just be with this pussy like. Because that's the only reason I'm hitting. Because let me see what the pussy like. This nigga didn't talk about it. Let me see if this shit is the fire. Like, the Ray J shit. Ray oh, J's dating. Princess. And oh, girl. Princess no. Was... No, the, uh, the other girl who belonged to uh, the boxer. That's what I'm saying. Princess is her name. And she belonged to Mayweather. Mayweather. Yeah. It's like, and, and, too, and, and you and Mayweather was cool. And, and then you... Nelly. Nelly had a Mayweather I don't think chick. they were never yeah, cool. Yeah, Nelly had Miss Jackson. Mm-hmm. But Still got it. Thing... And treating her way better than Mayweather. Yeah. They all, mm-hmm. I mean. You niggas supposed to be. What? Listen, this, this is the way I'm looking at it. Too many bitches. To fuck, yeah. Like, if you're just going to be running off in guts, then nigga, you need to respect the boundaries of somebody's past relationship. But if you have something that is real and legit and can be, like, you can bring that to your boy, like, bruh, listen, I know this is a little iffy, but he may be with it. If this is the love of this nigga's life and she broke it off, and he's not going to be cool with that. <laughs> and I'm not saying this is like a, this is the standard, like, I feel like every nigga got there's probably one chick out there that somebody else took down, and that's the one chick. Like you get one, maybe two, maybe two in life that has already through a friend been around. Well, just one. I'm trying to think if I had one. You had to have somebody, but I'm not talking about just fucking. That's just a messy. That's bitch. all I do. I fuck. So I, don't, I ain't got time to conversate. Well, then Stop that's a whole it, other Speedy. thing itself. Stop it. I fuck. He got a radio persona. Nigga, let me tell you something. Back in the day, <laughs> he's I fucked. keeping it if, real. If I knew you, you and somebody said, oh, you know, uh, Speedy and Port is kicking it, I hit. Trust me, we wasn't, we wasn't cordial. I'm trying to smash the first day I meet you just to get that out the way. I believe you. Yeah. If you just being honest, and that's what it was, if, that, if that I was just, where you I'm was trying, at in life, then I believe you. I'm trying to shoot as many ducks down as I possibly right. can. Right. Like, that's what women are for. Yeah. Right, but when you when what? you when wait, you, wait, wait, wait. that was the mentality he had. Okay, I thought. But you as you grow it. out of that and you no, mature, no, no. stay with like, that. Stay with that. That's what women divorce. You can if you want. If you haven't no. grown out of that mentality, but uh, I, 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 I come from a different 
So, so you thing? get to know bitches? What you saying? Yeah, nigga. Fuck out. Are you crazy, nigga? A bitch will a bitch. drive you crazy not knowing her. Just a pussy? There's so much pussy out here, nigga. Like if you can't connect with your mind, your heart, and get to know this bitch, and you know her. You can't build something with a bitch. Why are you even wasting your time? That's true. She's looking you at can you. buy some pussy, nigga. You can have one of these Mexican ladies jack you off for $50, nigga. You don't need to be. Are you focused? She's she's gazing at you right now. Because <laughs> I'm talking some real shit, and most men don't feel like this. But I have come to the point of clarity where it's like, nigga, if you really going to try to build a life with somebody, that's, you got to pick the right bitch. Yeah, you do got to do that. Absolutely. You might, I mean, eight kids later, Speedy got down, nigga. You, at some point, it got to hit. Five different bitches in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he I'm tried. saying, nigga. <laughs> He hey, tried. That's what I'm saying, though. I tried. I gave it. Every, I gave it the fucking uh, the old college drive. <laughs> right, but I mean, you know, I can't imagine there's five baby mamas, eight kids, and some of that shit wasn't your fault. If you sat down well, and was just none honest, of, none of it was my fault. So you were completely flawless, and these bitches ruined your flawless. life. They ruined my motherfucking life. Yeah, no. So you, nigga, there's some, you need to sit in a little dark hole and, will and be honest with yourself. <laughs> right, thank you. <laughs> what have I done as well? Because ain't no relationship just one-sided fucked up. You did Absolutely. some shit, too. You did some shit, too. You sound like you didn't do some shit. Nigga, no. let me tell you something. I know At least you can probably I'm own talking up about. to it. You know what I'm saying? I've been a nigga that fucked a bitch. Has Speedy nigga, does not but... own up to his wrongdoings. He Who just are not... you in that booth? I'm just real. That's just I haven't real. done anything wrong. What have I done wrong I need That's to own up problem. to? That's the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> that I haven't done nothing wrong. Mm. <laughs> it's a self a self assessment and realization. Right. <laughs> Whatever. No, nah, but I just I just got to the point now where like all bitches ain't just pussy to me. Like I'm either if I'm like for what? There's so much I have nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Nate. Let me push your chair over there a little <laughs> Stop, bit more. Sweetie. Go on over there, Pam. Yeah. You keep getting you got both Stop arms on the table. But on. men, most men, grown ass men, it unfortunately it takes us till we like forty to realize this. I feel like most I'm a little early. Most how old are you now? Thirty two. Oh, yeah, you got to Because then, uh, who was the actor that wrote an open letter to all his ex-girlfriends because he was fucked up to all of them all his life, and then now he found the woman of his dreams. Oh, I think I know you're talking about. Yeah. And he Isn't wrote, that a movie? <laughs> yes. No. I've seen a movie where a, a nigga meets the love of his life, and she says, it. we can't be serious until you let all the other women in your life Idris, know. It wasn't Idris, was it? No, no it, was, it wasn't going to be him because he came It was shell. some, you know, hunk that. Hunk? How old are you? I ain't said that shit since 73. <laughs> Hunk? H-U-N-K? <laughs> I ain't never heard of that for a nigga in a, ye- in a long time. You need me to turn on the air? Yes, please. We're all set up in sweat. Yeah, like you me. got this shit feeling like the Amistad boat. <laughs> <laughs> like, give us us freedom. Give us a shit. She's like, nigga, I said what I'll do with the 50000 You need to sit there. <laughs> shit. If you don't want to turn the air on, just fan me with this, nigga, because the electrical <laughs> bills is real. <laughs> all right, it is the all-new Rollout Show. Uh, it's your boy Speedy in the building. That is... You are? Poetis. This nigga. <laughs> I'm just letting everybody know who they're listening to. You are? Poetis. You are? Nikki Pam. In the building. Nate Jackson. All of you in Seattle, born, living here. You are, is that where you're from, Seattle? Yeah. I didn't know black people come from Seattle. I <laughs> know, right? There's two. Nate, uh, they just here. moved there. <laughs> There's my kids for white from girls. My kids' mom's from Seattle. Okay. Yeah. She's See, a white. Just what no. I said. Though, no, right? she's no, black. No, her mom is white. But Listen, she's there's hella black people in Washington. Yes, it is. Is it? Hell yeah! Like Portland they had too. whole they Portland. had whole government sponsored recruitment trying to get black people to come work on the Hoover Dam, trying to get them to come work in Hanford, the nuclear place, and trying to get them in government. There's so many niggas in Washington, and not to mention Joint Base um, Lewis McCord is one of the largest military installations oh, in the so Western Hemisphere. Important. Oh, somebody yeah. in the chat room said Michael Jai White wrote the letter. That's right. Uh, he did. Yes, he oh, did. Michael. Yes, I remember that. That's a good nigga. Yeah, you write that letter. He's, he tough. Yeah, he's a good dude any, uh, all around mm-hmm. to me. Well, he know that shit. So when you, mm-hmm. when you know that shit, he ain't too many people what, running what, up on you. Know him. what shit? He's one of the most, oh, dangerous, he's one of the most dangerous men on the planet, man. Mm-hmm. He got money. Literally has won tournaments around the world fucking niggas up. Yeah, yeah and he did Black Dynamite. He's dope. That was a good, now, to me, I don't know why they haven't done two. Because the first that shit was funny as fuck. Well, he wrote it. Then they did an animated series. Yeah, but they stopped. I don't know why it stopped. Because uh, sometimes you don't know when you have a full empire versus just a thing. Mm-hmm. It was it was uh, Black Dynamite. That shit was funny as fuck. I they gotta do it again. I thought they should do, uh, what's the one that... Um, Comedian, fuck, oh, I can't remember. He did something similar to that. Uh, 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 Undercover brother. Oh, okay. Undercover brother was absolutely fucking hilarious. Could have kept it going. And I don't know why he didn't keep it going. I don't know if it's if it's Eddie. Could have been Eddie. Murphy. Eddie uh, Griffin. 
could have been Eddie Griffin as, you know, maybe the knucklehead, but undercover brother. Nine okay. times out of ten is money. Like, the first one did good. The second time to bring me back. Nigga, come back, nigga. Y'all niggas didn't do me right the first That's time, nigga. Eddie Griffin. Mm-hmm. I want white money, nigga. Yeah. It might have been him. It yeah. might have been the nigga that was the big the big chubby dude. He's like, I already did so plain, nigga. Hilarious. One of these movies is going to pay me. <laughs> we hope so. Anyway, uh, we winding it on down, brother. We have a half hour to go. <laughs> we gonna take a break? Uh, no, I was gonna. Nigga, let's talk about some shit. I'm gonna just cause y'all niggas. Uh, no, no, I'm good. You thought it was one fifty, nigga? Break first. No, because yeah. if if I don't do it like this, she'll do less. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll get that in the. <laughs> but wait for that first. No, I will not. I always st- I pre come that. <laughs> <laughs> we will take a break. Cue up something speedy, and not the same three songs. Oh, that you I know. Go to a different playlist. They won't let me go to a different playlist because they. Like, who's they? That uh, whatever that is behind what? the glass. Uh, why you keep? Why you? Why don't you play some of that new game? Speedy, he always uses other people as a scapegoat. You played this, didn't you? No, no. Oh. You just had to say that. Huh? <laughs> I did. He didn't play this, but okay. we'll take a quick break. Not so good. Yeah. I think it's over here. Dude, like that was going to be the knock. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it's the all-new Rollout Show right here at Morris Media Studios, located at <laughs> Crenshaw Boulevard, uh, across the street from somebody. Anyway, it's your boy Speedy in the building, the funniest motherfucker you ever going to meet. I'm the poet. I'm the poetess. Nikki Pam. Nate Jackson. I thought it was at Nate Jackson. At Mr. Nate Jackson. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Find Twitter, Instagram. I got some funny Is shit on Nate Instagram. Is it Nate Daniel? No, it's Nate. He's like, whole name of me, I can all like skin. <laughs> it's Nate. Whole name What's of your me? middle name? Yeah, I don't have one. Ain't that a... All oh, black people got middle names. No, I'm a junior. And my dad's from the South where niggas got nicknames. Oh, what oh, was your really? nickname? Yeah. So my dad's <laughs> nickname... My dad's nickname was Zeke. Zeke. That's a real name. Zeke. Zeke. I just called him Zeke. Your day must be real dark. That's a real dark name. Nah, he right real... Hey, where's Zeke at? He he, he owed me $45, right. man. Don't come through. My dad come around inside the house. Tell that nigga, don't you ever come around here asking for that. <laughs> Pistol out and a straight razor in the other hand. It's a knife fight or a gun fight, nigga. Pick a side. Just in case I miss, I'm going to cut the shit out of you. <laughs> right. Cut you with a bullet or shoot you with a knife, nigga. Uh, mine's Donald Ray. Donald Ray? Caldwell. Junior. That's your middle name. Ray. Okay. So Donald is your first name. Yeah. I, can't, I ain't never want to use that on stage. I feel like if they said, please put your hands together for Donald Ray Caldwell, it sound like a pedophile. It does. It sounds like a uh, serial killer. Yeah, yeah, it does. A lot of serial killers got hyphenated first name type shit. Yeah, Don Ray Caldwell Jr. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But you could have been Ray Caldwell. <sighs> then I could have did the D Ray, and you know, D Ray's already taken, or D R C Caldwell. I wouldn't do none of that shit. Mm. B- besides, everybody in LA. But you went with Speedy. Well, everybody knew me as Speedy. I grew up with the name nickname. Nickname. Speedy. How? Well, I was a hyper kid when I was little. Back then, they had no medicine, so they gave you nicknames. Otherwise, I'd have been Ridley. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> so my mom gave me the name Speedy. Uh-huh. And so I used to street races, everybody knew me as Speedy. So when I started to do stand up, I was going to. <laughs> okay, remember Tymock, the actor, uh, uh, show enough. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I met his Ty manager. Yeah, yeah. So I met his manager and he, he went to this whole thing. Say, man, how come you don't use your real name? I said, well, I don't get the whole thing. I don't like Speedy. Uh, what you like Speedy? Uh, see, that's what's wrong with black people. They don't use their real name. I said, well, first of all, uh, Donald Caldwell is probably not my real name. It's a slave name. So we just want to keep it real. <laughs> right. <laughs> so exactly. How, not, how about I don't want to use that name? Right. And so this dude trying to manage me. And so we get into this little lightweight argument at, and he's, as he's thinking about managing me. And then he writes his name on a napkin. I went, I'm good, homie. And I pushed it back. He wrote his own name he on it? He wrote his napkin? name and his number on a napkin. It was like, you know, what you like you'd want to work with him yeah, after that. Once you wrote it on a napkin, nigga, it was a wrap. He, he wanted me to change my name from Speedy. I'm like, no, nah, everybody knows. And I'm maybe a year, two years into the game. I said, no, nah, I'm already known as Speedy mm-hmm. on stage. I ain't. Mm-hmm. And don't get me wrong. Somebody's like, well, what happened when you get older? Hey, Once your name sticks, yeah. renaming yeah. yourself is hard. Right. You know who tried to do that? Tony Luella. Tony Tone. To- to- uh, Tony Tone. Nigga, downtown Tony Brown has changed into a new person. Oh, he did? He's well, Huggy he- Lowdown. Because he, he was on heroin, so that was different. But he's, he's Huggy Lowdown. He's who? Huggy Lowdown off of the, uh, what was that, Tom Joyner Morning Show or some shit? Huggy Lowdown is a comic that's been doing this shit 15, 16 years. Somebody old ass phone rang. <laughs> that's the house phone. Shit. That, that's, that's Tommy Lowdown. <laughs> <laughs> but Tony Luella tried to change his name from Tony Tone 
to Tony Luella because he got a white manager mm -hmm. and they were trying to get him more corporate Brand gigs. Him up. Yeah. And so they just use your real name. But the problem he kept having is that people were like, uh, you sound like this other comedian named Tony Tony. And he's like, that's me. He's like, oh, why you changing the name to Tony right. Luella? Scruncho too. Anthony McKinley. He was running with that for hell. I would slap shit out of you. That's what it was. You don't believe me? He's Anthony. Scruncho's name is Anthony McKinley. <laughs> when he does church shows and colleges, they're like live. Anthony McKinley. Live. <laughs> and it's Scruncho. You should stay with Scruncho. It's a ghetto, yeah. but hey, it, is, it is what it is. He Embrace go, your shit. You should go with whatever you, your mama named Embrace you. Embrace your shit. How many years you been doing comedy? 12. 12, okay. Yeah, yeah so we you, met. You doing how long? Oh, shit. 21, okay. 21, since uh, 92. I have one of Speedy's first shows on tape. Yeah, you got to show he, that to me. Was he funny? Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> I'm just asking. He's still telling the same He's show. funny, man. <laughs> Speedy won the Bay Area Black Comedy Competition and everything. You won too. Yeah, but we was talking about you. Hilarious. <laughs> For mean, the listeners that don't know, because sometimes you One could, of the hardest competitions. You be having accomplishments, but it, when you talk about yourself, it seems like you, you know, you waving flat, like you, you boasting. But I can talk about the shit because I have a similar experience. But Speedy... Yeah. Won the Bay Area Black, which is literally the largest African American comedy competition on the planet. There's nothing bigger, it's the longest running. Everybody who's anybody who's ever amounted to shit in comedy, and those who have uh, all done the Bay Area Black, yeah. Speedy and, won that bitch. And speaking of Bay Area, I'm watching the news the other night, this shit gonna be and random. Mark Curry was on the plane where the woman got strangled for putting her seat Oh, he back. was on this? <laughs> <laughs> Mark Curry won the Bay Area Black, too. That's, see, that ties yeah. in. Yeah. He yeah. said, you circle. said I was going to say something no, random. I'm like, Speedy's dope. But you were like, oh, in other news, a bitch got choked. Because, <laughs> Nate, I don't know if you've ever watched this show, yeah. but Speedy does a fine job of giving himself props, so it's okay. But I'll say this, though, because I, I don't like... Like on stage, like somebody like, what do you want me to say when you come out? I don't, I don't need. Yeah, I'd be stuff. like, nigga, just hit me with good friend, cause yeah, cause, cause I, I remember comedians would give you like a list of all this shit they have done, you come out and fucking die. So I've always been like, no, just bring me out, and they'll, 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 they'll decide whether I'm funny or not, or whether the accomplishments I have made or they recognize me. Works. You want to get Cheryl Underwood? <laughs> that story you tell about how Cheryl Underwood, she don't like no intro. She nigga, Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl. She just walks out cold, <laughs> nigga. So I'm doing. Uh, this is funny. New Year's Eve up in the Bay. Me, Guy Tory on the show. I'm hosting Guy and Cheryl's headlining. So you know I'm hosting. Killing the shit, bring guy up, destroy. It. So I gotta go up, make some announcements, do some more, do some more stand up. Right. You know what I do, but I, I, but I know it's Cheryl, so I'm not gonna not milk the shit out. So Cheryl's in the back, and she goes, uh, "Speedy, bring me right up." I was like, "Okay," because every comic says that. I said, right. "No problem, I'll bring you right up." I just gotta make some announcements. I'll bring you right up, no problem. So I walk out after guy comes off, and you know everybody's clapping. I said, "Give it up for guy, Tory." And then I hear even more clap, clapter, and people are clapping even louder. I'm like, "Yeah, what the fuck going on?" And I turn around and Cheryl's right behind me. Okay, I take the mic. I went, oh, and I did like in the uh, purple rain. Give it up for Cheryl Underwood. <laughs> <laughs> I got the fuck out of the way. And and my, even Michael Collier got me. Even though Michael was here, Michael got me one time. Uh, really? What in Oakland, do? I'm perform. I'm hosting, tearing the paint off the motherfucking wall. Mm -hmm. And I maybe been on stage five, seven minutes, and and I get the light. Like, in my mind, I'm going, God damn, that was fast. But I don't overrun motherfuckers. Right. Especially when he was headlining, so you mm -hmm. can't overrun his shit. So I come off stage, and I go in the back, and the owner's back there. He's like, God, you were so funny. Why'd you get off stage? I'm like, you gave me the light. He's like, no, Michael Collier gave you the light. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I just seen some shit. <laughs> As a comedian? Oh, nigga, nigga. I done seen some. Woo. It's, it's hard out here for a comic. I done seen some shit. But that that's the world we live in. Like, I get, I, you guys hear me, I rant sometimes off air mm -hmm. on how I wish as comics we did stick together more in the sense of if you have a gig and you know a club that's mm -hmm. booking, you call, if, if it ain't your boy, that's something different. But if it's your boy and you know they need to work or you know this dude is funny and he can right. rip, why not turn him on to those gigs? There's a lot of comics that won't do that. They'll well, go back to the club four or five times before they let the club owner know, no, there's a mother funny motherfucker. Right. Again bring in that's why I just seeing the show that we did Saturday I'm like nigga we could we could take that show and even though the, the other comic was a little bit he wasn't as funny but he did that funny shit about uh, what's going but you, you could take that show we had take that shit on the road and, and nigga clean up but somebody has to have that vision and a lot of people don't so well my, my issue isn't the vision my issue is gatekeepers oh so, yeah so like I'm, I'm to the point now where people are like nigga you're clearly funny 
but can you put asses in seats? Yeah. So then it becomes a hustle for credits so that I have something to leverage. It'd be like, I'm the nigga from uh, King's Queens. Yeah, you got to have some credits. You got to have that. And, and as much as I feel like I'm funny as fuck, if you put Speedy on the board, like I'll give you a, a perfect example, Jay Fox. Mm-hmm. First season of In Living Color, he thought he could go on the road on his own. This first season, maybe it may be two, three shows in. Mm-hmm. And so he went and said, I don't need no promoter. I'm just going to put Jamie Foxx on the and nigga. Four people showed up. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Because you have to have black folks. Need, we need to know, see you a bunch of times. And they right. go, oh, yeah, you so right. and so. Mm-hmm. Now, once you get that black cred as a comic, nigga, your life is easy. That's why what, what Kevin Hart does, like people are like, well, he should cross. You know, you know, he get black love, and that black love put money in your pocket mm-hmm. because black folks come out and they support. And they'll keep supporting over you. and over yeah. and over. You just got to find that, that we, one niche. Fifty-six percent of the purchasing market. Yeah, so you got to niggas, but we spend all our money. So mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If that's you love by blacks, you got a huge chunk of bread. It's the reason Viacom's number one channel is BT. Yeah, that's right. Now the other sl- the other part of that is that you know some people are going, "What the fuck are they talking about?" Fuck you. The other part <laughs> of that is that if you did find a sponsor who took some no name comics, they could take. They could take that money and say, okay, I'm going to keep hitting people over the head. We got this com- comic coming, we got this comic, and we're not killing you at the door. See, the problem mm-hmm. with most comedy shows, when you say, okay, who on the show? Black people go, who on the show? Right. And they got to be Cedric. Okay, I can pay $65. But you say $65 and Speedy and Nate and, and so-and-so and Kente's on the show. They're like, I don't know them motherfuckers. I ain't right. going to spend that on them. So you have to bring that down. It got to be a $15, $20 ticket. They go, right. well, I can do 20 on some niggas. I don't know. Let's go see. Right, Maybe they just got to do the math. And the thing is, it all makes sense when there's less hands in the pocket. Like, I, yeah, a sponsor would be great. It'd be good for somebody to get their name out, to push the tour, and to also to receive the benefit of being on every flyer, every marketing thing. It, that's good for a sponsor. So sponsor, but um, on the other hand, like if you if running it yourself is the difference. Like you go a thousand seat theater is probably a thousand dollars. You just spend a thousand dollars a seat or a dollar a seat basically mm-hmm. is the going rate. So you do that, y'all pay yourself, y'all spend the money on marketing it, which is probably twice as much as the venue, and then go to the city and do the shit. Mm-hmm. And even if you get five hundred people and don't fill the place at twenty dollars a piece, you got your money back. Yeah, you see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll talk. All right, so it's been a great fucking show. Yeah. I've had a great fucking time. Boy, this is, what's wrong, baby? Nothing. I'm know? not building another tour. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I did the work. I just, Listen, I did the work. We had a successful tour. Didn't nobody give a fuck about us, and we were still eating <laughs> and growing and getting clubs and colleges and school, and it was successful. And then somebody had an issue, and they fucked the tour up, getting say, in trouble. You want to say his name? Nah, man, because he deserves to not have his name said. But we went and did a college, and he got in trouble at the school. Some girl accused him of rape that he did not do, and oh, he yeah. got off, and everything was cool. But in the meantime, he branded the tour fucked up. And that was his first year on a tour that had been going for four years. So just fucked my whole shit up. So I won't be building another one, sweat, blood, sweat, tears. But if I, niggas want to get together. How about this? I promise not to rape nobody. <laughs> yeah, well, he didn't, he didn't either. I'm not saying. I mean, rape is not good, guys. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is, if I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna go down that road again, I'm not gonna be the one uh, that built the road too. Yeah, I feel you. Now, tell them how to reach you, how to get at you, and uh, check out a lot of stuff you're doing. All right, check it out. You can check me <laughs> you out on natejacksoncomedy.com, and that'll keep you up with everything. Natejacksoncomedy.com. If, if you have a particular social media outlet you like, it's pretty much at Mr. Nate Jackson on all of them. My next live show, if you're in Southern California, I'm at the Brea Improv tonight. Uh, come check I'm that still out. still trying to get in there. I gotta I'm not in talk. there. This is a, you know, AD, a comedian. Is throwing oh, yeah, the show. AD. Is yeah. that mostly like a white comedy club? Yeah, it's, it's hard a, to get yeah. in. Somebody has to vouch for you on those. On the, Does, it, doesn't JT perform there? No, 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 no. Listen, no? there's a difference between performing there and being a, a comic that's yeah. a regular, like a regular. They have, the Improv is the largest comedy club chain in the world. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and so what happens is Monday, uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, like Sundays are nights where they don't have primetime comedians. You go to improv on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You're gonna see, yeah. you know, whoever their big headlining acts are traveling the country. The other nights, you got an open mic night, a dark night, a nigga night, a Mexican yeah. night, and that's how they're doing it. Yeah. That's what I'm doing tonight. And so that's its own I, I, tier, and I respect where I'm at, but. Absolutely. Soon it will be the weekend. AD show is packed. It's normally packed. A lot of Latinos. It's yeah, he a really says it's good gonna be two hundred and fifty people tonight. Yeah, it's always packed. It's just that it's hard to uh, in those white clubs unless you are somebody. 
Mm. And now, if somebody speaks vouch for you, they'll start put put you in a couple of them around the country. Well, they're completely monetized and commercial. So, in order to be that dude in the main slot, you yeah. got some more than just the club got to make money off you. Yeah, an agent, two or three reps, like your shit got to be getting sliced up four or five ways for you to be the headliners. Yeah. And that's, that's so what's out. the problem? Like, there's like a few black-owned comedy clubs in LA. Do you guys support each no, there's, other? There's one black-owned comedy club in there's LA. There's two. What's the name of both? The J Spot and Comedy Union. Okay. <laughs> got Touché. you. You yeah, got shot. Got, yeah. Got you. Got I usually get shot in this position. Touche. Well, I don't consider the uh, Comedy Union in LA because it's right there. But no, it's LA. What? The J Spot. Nigga, it's that's on LA. No, uh, actually, J Spot is Inglewood. J Spot, well, it's across the street from Inglewood. On, on that side of that or is Inglewood. Westchester. Is it well, on that Westchester's further up. Oh, okay. But, so it's, so that. So what you say is black Inglewood and okay, it, fine. There's two. But mm. see, the thing about the L.A. market, so my my wife asked, why don't you do the clubs here and get paid? Because you don't get paid in L.A. Mm. Because mm. this is a work. Yeah, because people come and do their tester yeah. comedy. So, but it's a workstation. Like so do you know who, I know this is bringing it down a little bit, who got f- shot in front of the comedy store last week? Yeah. Um, it was a random It was a random dude. Some dude just named Reggie. Nobody knows the last name or nothing. But apparently he had beef with somebody that stemmed out of. Was that a, a black night? It wasn't yeah, a Yeah, it was a black night. Oh, wow. But they, what, what happens is on, on Tuesdays they had, uh, they had the Laugh Mob show, Bob Sumner and them show. Mm-hmm. And then they had. Upstairs at midnight, a whole nother show starts a comedy roast battle, mm. and so apparently something happened early. Mm. And this is all this the, from the, from this point. What I'm saying now on is all hearsay, so don't mm. hold me to it mm. because I wasn't. I would just hear her. Say the words allegedly. Yeah, it's allegedly. So allegedly, something popped off earlier. I don't know if it was at the Laugh Mom show or not. I don't think it was because when I read the article, the comics that they named that were performing that night were all white comics. That's why I was like, oh, okay. that wasn't a black well, because guy. later on at night, mm. the dude was just chilling, trying to kind of chill with the crowd of that second show. I told you to start mm. at midnight. That's why I preceded with that because mm. it was at the first show. That show let out, and then all these comics are chilling outside on Sunset at the bar. Mm. And then they go upstairs like at midnight do. to start a new show. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so somebody just walked up to him in the crowd right there in front and shot him in the chest. So have Ooh, you done all scary. Deaf Digital? Yeah. I oh, hosted okay. it two weeks, three weeks ago. Oh, okay. Tony Rock wasn't able to get back. I think I might go tonight. I got blessed to do that. Yeah. yeah. It's a good look. They didn't call me. That's probably the hottest why, show why in the city. Speedy? I ain't you can't like call that. and just say, hey, They don't have it like that. Jeru? No. You can, but then you, oh, man, I'm booked for the next, you know. So I don't, I don't have time to deal with that. If, if they want me, niggas know where I'm at. And if mm. they don't call, hey, man. I shit. think at, after good. a certain, like, you got to just reach out. Yeah, you got to reach Put out. Put it on your spirit yeah, yeah, one don't. time to be like, look, man, at look. Yeah, right. that would be it's a great. It's unfortunate that the game is set up to where somebody who has so much stripes as you has to humble themselves to get a booking and a regular right. some shit that should already be knocking yeah. down the door. But. That's what the young, that's the difference. We young, hungry, we'll call, we're texting and call, hey, nigga, hey, <coughs> when? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When you gonna let me get out? Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'll oh, give you information, man. Uh, you can meet, uh, you can meet me. You can, uh, <laughs> you like, can fuck. Her. She's trying to fuck. You can meet me at, <laughs> I'll be at Taco at Bell's. House. <laughs> <laughs> right, get wide <laughs> open. <laughs> you can get at me at Nikki Pan with two Ks on Twitter, IG, and uh, Periscope. It's uh, Speedy is Funny on everything. That's Speedy, I-Z, Funny on everything. And Comedian Speedy on Facebook. And don't forget, we're going to Hawaii uh, for January 28th through February 2nd. Definitely get your tickets. Get them, get them, get them. Go to upacplan.com. Go to upacplan.com. Click on, like she said, click on. And uh, put your little $100 deposit Pro up. Pro Bowl 2016. Yeah, um, click on that. Book now. Book now. Forward us. Okay, want to make a few announcements. Please. We're starting to fill up our roster a little bit. <laughs> Somebody get that old ass phone. <laughs> it's got a receiver on it. Well, I know one thing. They really like you in the chat room, that's for sure. Who? Yeah, they do. The they fans do. They like, like you. you can come back. Because they show me good. nothing. Because I'm just You'll probably you. get some followers. We got three oh, yeah, minutes. Yeah. Let me see what the hell y'all talking about. <laughs> okay, so we have um, they some. They said they busted you out here. Oh, go ahead. Um, we have a few uh, shows for the lineup um, here at Morris Media Studios. God damn it. Really, they want to get their show on. Hold on. <laughs> it's her mama. Uh, baby, let me speak to that young man in the picnic yeah. table shirt. What is his name? It's phone calls. So, so they liked him? 
Yeah, they really like them. They, yeah, they shout them out. This is crazy. Time. But I, I didn't know this much interaction was popping off. Man, yeah. thank y'all. Yeah. Can y'all see me too? Yeah, which one of these is? Duh. Yeah, they see. They watched they, you kill that. Is there a delay, nigga? nigga? Yes, yeah, a little bit of a delay. How long? Damn. A few seconds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That ain't no few seconds. Shit, my <laughs> hair still ain't went up on the shit. <laughs> when y'all see it, my hair gonna be up for hella long. <laughs> Refresh. All right. No, it'll come. It's, it's going. All right. The mm-hmm. delay is real. I'm putting my hair. All right. Up. Let's see who in the fuck is blowing up. <laughs> yeah, let's find out. They who said they like me. Oh, that's what's up. <laughs> yeah. It's probably your whole family on there. Uh, who's calling? Who? Hey, what's going on this, Lee? Oh, they, uh... Who is this? Lee Dick's best friend. Oh, Lou hey, Dick's Lee best friend. How what's happening, though? All right. Um, I wanted to call in to ask Speedy and Nate. Um, did you guys hear about the issue with Amy Schumer allegedly stealing the Patrice O'Neill joke or a uh, comedy special? It would have been the one she did at, uh, at the Apollo, but I haven't heard about that. Um, yeah, I watched it last night, man. So what's your joke? She she so they show a joke from... She's funny. They take a show, uh, Patrice O'Neill 1998 Thanks set at... Um, laughs in Montreal mm-hmm. and he's sitting at the end of his show and he's going over all these different sexual positions like uh uh the grizzly bear or some shit where you or the gorilla where you rub nut on a girl's face and then take your uh pubic hairs and throw them at her and then she looks like a gorilla <laughs> so oh my he's, god or you take your nut and you put it on your thumb and then you smear it on her forehead and you be like Simba like he says all these different nasty yeah. ass things well that's how she ended her special and one of them he calls the uh I don't know if it's the David Blaine or the Houdini or the something, but basically you're smashing from the back and then you slide your homeboy in and you go outside through the window and look in and wave. So he's just saying all these different positions he's heard of. She did nasty. Yeah. And they used to have a podcast together, uh, the Patrice and Amy show, or it was called the Black Phillips show. Oh, they did. Yeah, so it's not oh. like she wasn't in contact with him. So, it, so, so I don't think it was stolen, but I think that there was no integrity there in using the same material at the end of her show. But mm. but to I me, think there's she took it. there's there's but it's not really a joke. nothing. It's shit, it's shit you heard. It, there, there's really nothing new under the sun. That's so. not true. That's not true. Your life is different in stand up, and that's why I tell younger comics, you're right. There's no you. Know, my, my my daddy did like this. Were, okay, we got that. And my daddy was mean, whooped that ass. Okay, we get that part of it. That's why we tell younger comics, if you're getting into this game, talk about your life, because that's the only thing that is unique. Your, mm-hmm. How you lived your life, how you how you go about your life is unique to you. We want to hear that. Now, there's new shit, period, because every day new shit pops off. If you're writing and you are and you are fully invested in, in creating new shit, like there's content coming from all angles with just mm-hmm. read the news. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got a Frank Ocean bit that still goes, and I wouldn't. I couldn't have wrote that two days before he came out. Like that's the premise of the bit, and I come mm-hmm. from my point of view. So you can always be writing. Yeah. It's structure. Structure is something that is kind of general. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like the way we're gonna write, set up, punchline, act out, mix up, act out, like that across the board. You know what I'm saying? But no, you can write new shit, and that's why I'm saying it's not like she studied Patrice and then said it word for word, sat like him, used his mannerisms. But she should have just not fucked with that material. Just leave it timeless. Yeah. Patrice used because to Because now they thing. don't remember your show. All they remember is that you might have did a joke that yeah. was Patrice's. And, and that's not okay. And she's at the top of the game. Like right you now, she's the that. white woman. And opening up for Madonna, too. She's the white woman. Mm-hmm. Name another white woman eating like I that. Think, I like I'm going to tell you what's going to happen movie. with her. She's going to knock out the big girl. Was it the the one? She Lisa, was Melissa Lisa, McCarthy? Lisa. He, feel, 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 I'm going to listen to me. Nigga, my eyebrows already up. Because... She, uh, McCarthy is doing the stuff that they want to put her in and she's not big and she's willing to fall, get hit, be the blunt of the joke. So if you take a very pretty white girl and you're able to take out the big fluffy white girl, they're going to do that. So I think she's going to get a lot more play and a lot more movies than McCarthy because McCarthy can, at I the time she's... I would compare them to. But, but they're, just, they're going to be the same people. Trust me. Mm. Trust me. I think there's room for. But both. she's funny. Don't don't sleep in a white, white girl. Funny. I think that McCarthy is a one of a kind. Uh, she's just a really she's fucking dope. She what she does she's in the white fun. space on the page, and when they're like, if you're supposed to say hi, and you say hi back, like hi hi, nigga, action, hi hi. She's doing all kind of shit that yeah. they didn't say you're supposed to say. Like her oh, improv wait, is but, wild. Oh, nigga. so she is a stand up. No. I don't even know. I think she's I'm an never, actress, she's but she got great. Actor. She got great. Input. She has great time. Okay. Have you seen the movie Tammy? Yeah, nigga, they just let her. They're like, nigga, just press record. Like this bitch ran wild. That it was incredible. Yeah. And I don't think Amy can catch up to that. I don't feel like Amy. Amy I don't feel like I that don't. much of it is is very unique coming I think, from Amy. I think Amy is. You think she's very unique? I think she's just every raunchy college sorority chick. Yeah, no, but I, I like Amy. I, I think I didn't say I didn't like her. I'm just saying like the, I get her. 
Yeah. Did you Does that watch make sense? Tra- did you see Trainwreck? Mm-hmm. No, yeah. I didn't exact see. same beat as is a McCarthy movie. Exact same beats. Yeah, but here's what would be dope. Them together on screen. Now that yeah, yeah. yeah that, I think you see what I'm kid. saying. There's no point in fighting it. Just put yeah. them together. Yeah. They never have to play the straight person. Just they're both fish out of water. Yeah. One's a slut and one wants to and be. And the fucked up That's part about movie. that, they would probably do that, and you could never get Kevin Hart and fucking uh, 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 Cat Williams to do a movie together. That's it. It's fucked up. Go ahead and finish with you have your announcements. Uh, okay. On that note, coming up after the show today, we have Not Without Alonzo, um, hip hop legend here on the West Coast, having yes, his is. own show, a talk show here. Starts at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also on Tuesdays, for all the hip hop heads, we have Boom by Ya, which is a hip hop. Uh, show hosted by Dion, the director, a.k.a. my little brother. And also, <laughs> and don't forget Thursdays at 11 a.m., we have the Ride Along Show, which is hosted by uh, former police officer George Holt. They have a pretty good topic um, this Thursday, which addresses the code of silence in the police department. Mm. And I'm very Just happy. Add Just add it. Just add it. Love it. <laughs> Coming up on Friday night Friday at night. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. The late night with Lou and TDP. Wow, that's hot. Yep. So Lou, be, that's gonna be say, funny. Do you have to say Lou's first or King JT? Yeah. Uh, is there a billing? Oh, issue? I was like, <laughs> I put Lou first because he is the OG. Right. Oh, you know, okay. Louis Dix is OG. So is he gonna show up? Uh, we hope so. That's okay. what's up. So, That's dope. I it might not show. be every Friday. So if you're interested, <laughs> right? So if you're interested in doing a show here at Morris Media Studios, you can hit us up at contact at morrismediastudios.com, or you can call us here at three two three two nine three 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 seven five. We are, um, you know, a growing network and a and studio if you here donate. in the community. You and donate, please. if you love the show and we make you laugh, uh, please you can drop some coins in the can. <laughs> At PayPal under contact at Morris Media Studios. Don't use your rush card. <laughs> we appreciate your support. This is crazy. And stick around for Not Without Alonzo. You got something for us, Speedy Speed? Baby girl, I always got something for us. It's just a matter of what you Oh, want. and you can follow me. For what? <laughs> OG Poetess on everything. And follow us on Twitter at Rollout Show. And like our page on Facebook, The Rollout Radio Show. You guys have a good one. We'll catch you back here Friday. Zip it!